Hi. Hello. Also, Corey, you're Hello. like, what I happened? need to pick the camera. Yeah, you do you need to pick the camera. Uh, hi. <laughs> right, just make Leia all by herself. Oh, oh. I'm actually fine with it. That's, <laughs> well, it means I get more space at the table, so whatever. Welcome uh, to another week of Doctors and Dungeon Masters. I'm Kelly Breivik, a PhD student at UWM in Plan H. Hi, I'm Corey. I am a uh, Plan C student here in the English department, PhD student. I did that way back ass words. Anyways. Also, like, your voice dropped, like. It did, yeah. Hell. You got very, like, <laughs> uh, radio host. Yeah. Ooh, look at me. Welcome to Doctors and Dungeon Masters. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm um, playing Franz the Rogue. Uh, I do rogue things. My name is also Franz in character. Hi, um, I'm Laila Bazeller. I'm a PhD candidate in the anthropology department. Um, and I am playing Ash Fletcher, a.k.a. Did you get to look at your name? <laughs> a.k.a. Alabaster Crane. I always forget Alabaster's actual name. I always forget Crane's last name. Um, yeah. That's why I kept, like, when I was putting together my sheet when I forgot it last week, I literally had to look at the sheet to remember his first name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, I am playing a bard. Uh, uh-huh. Fighter Bard. Punchy Bard. Punchy Bard. Can we get a recap of what happened last week? Because uh, I'm excited okay. to relive So if anyone is here happened. from Twitter, the question posed, did Ash get his face back? The answer is yes. His what? I, um, uh-huh. on Twitter, I was like, come find out if Ash got his face back. The end of that episode was Ash being aged like 90 years. Yep. And being yeah. an old, old man, hitting people with his cane. Yeah, he that was, was very, beautiful. very <laughs> uh, Rightfully so. I was popping champagne learning how to make creme brulee French toast. Yeah. Which is delicious, by the way. Yeah, you have creme brulee French toast at least once. Yeah, um, yeah that's that sounds like the episode. Kill the dude. Uh, there's yeah. a zombie horde. Mm-hmm. The... M, like, decimated some... So, yeah. M, a- or Eric, uh, who is not here today, plays mm-hmm. M, and... She murdered a bunch of zombies. She did. Can you murder zombies if they're already dead? I would, I say, would say no. so. Unanimate. Um, <laughs> How does a zombie die? Is it just I don't know. Like if you curb stomp a zombie, like and it brain cantaloupes, like that seems pretty murdery to me. Well, murder is also both a legal definition and it's around ideas of premeditation. It is premeditated, so it does fit that definition. Lawfully, though. Right, but like my question is actually for the people? living thing. Can you kill? Can you actually kill it, or is it like what is the? Because murder implies death, but if you're already dead. This sounds like yeah. the last half hour <laughs> thing again. Okay, I'm sorry. This is what we do. This is what we I recap, know. and then we like talk I about think stuff. Killing and... does imply a life that was like taken away by something, by right. someone else, by so, another living like, thing. Deanimated. Yeah. Because they're animated to like. Do yeah. stuff, then would be Unless they're like something like a lich, which remains like conscious and sentient, which is a bit different. I don't know. Last half hour, <laughs> let's talk about uh... liches versus zombies. Are they alive? Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Just riveting discussion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no, it started out with us finishing up in the, the camp. Yeah, in the camp with the turrets and stuff. Oh yeah. We and found some documents. Wasn't there a long ass bit with that the conversation with Darius, or am I thinking? Was yeah, that no, that was we had a like long a ass very bit. long conversation, yeah. and then also like Franz and his bro, Tomas had a giant conversation about things. Mm-hmm. Daddy issues all, were brought up. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a very yeah. Oh yeah, you guys learned who your dad was for real. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is Apparently crazy. A pansy ass artificer. Or an awesome artificer. Yeah, and that guy was just trying to showboat. Right, because he was obviously an asshole. Well, I mean, he's no longer alive. He's actually <laughs> dead. So. Yes! The the question posed to the session before this last session on Twitter was, mm-hmm. are we going to kill a dude? And we did. Yeah. Uh, by, by we, we mean singular. <laughs> yeah, because while they okay, were I'm having sorry. their moment... I'm sorry. You the, the paladin and the rogue were having a discussion about whether or not it was morally acceptable to kill this man. And the, the bard... Rogue, uh, being the person who's like, obviously we should kill them, and Tomas being like, no, we should not, and then the bar just stealthed him into the woods and did it, murdered him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that um, was murder. that was definitely murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Jesus. And then M conveniently had to leave so that she did not have to be there for the discussion about whether or not we murdered men mm. um, on a unicorn with a child to the city that we had just yeah. come from. Somehow, magical unicorn got them there and back again. Could we pause for one second and how weird of a sentence? Took off on a unicorn with a child to the city. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway, I just, sorry, I just need to, like, sit there and (laughs) digest that a little bit more. No, we just gotta get, we gotta get through the recap as fast as possible. I've had a lot of coffee today. I'm about to have a lot of coffee. I had one. One, how, how much? Like, one could be six ounces. Oh, or it could out. be 85 ounces. Yeah. Like, one could be, you know, one of the... Coffee gold. doesn't deserve to be Let's finish this recap. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's just sit here for another 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we dropped off a change... Or no, M dropped off a changeling child to... Mm. Adoptive... Moms. Yeah, yeah, okay. To someone... Her best friend's mom's house. Okay, best friend's mom's house. Okay, cool. That's about all you two uh, years. Seriously, though... Yeah. But for real, we could, uh, we could really that's what you should draw on your comic show. Yeah, the, that would be hilarious. Best friends, mom's house. Do 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 do. Best friends, mom's house. Do, I'm just do, do, imagining do. like any time the changeling getting in trouble, like he quickly changes into one of the other kids, so the other kids gets in trouble, and then. Yes, I feel like if Doctors and DMs this this version of it ever gets put into a comic, we need to have like, like breaks in the real story, with like shenanigans of the changeling child that dropped off. N. Um, (laughs) That's his name so far. Yeah, N. (coughs) Yep. Because we're going in alphabetical order now. Yep. Um, Which makes me question who K is, or L. That's true. We are not doing an Men in Black (laughs) uh, campaign. (laughs) I'm just putting my foot down right there. This campaign is many things. So let's let's fast forward. We get to the uh, oh yeah, town. So we got to the town. Hmm? I just looked over. And I see. Don't Louis. look over at Jeez. my stats. <laughs> you know this. That's why. DM. I, that's why I'm just like, don't look at me. And maybe if you remembered stuff from past sessions, you would know who Lloyd is. You're 100 percent right. Second. <laughs> that's totally fair. That's yeah. fair. Um. Oh yeah, we also. Caught an Inquisition mage. Oh, yeah. Well, a fake one. No, Inquisition oh, mage. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. That was very often over here. Um, but, yeah. And we kind of let her go. Yeah. She didn't want to go to brunch. She didn't want to go to brunch. Which says she a lot about her character. She watched you murder someone. She did not watch us murder someone. She watched some, some people she have a conversation. You. Hey, I took him into the woods. No, you said that you... And then, and then that's words. true. That's fair. Yeah. So she definitely watched you. She tortured a guy. Let's not let's not sugarcoat her character. Yeah. Let's not pretend like she is some innocent who doesn't. No, see no. It. But she definitely has a sense of self-preservation. She f- followed a guy who was on patrol, captured him, yep. tortured him, yep. and then killed him. Yep. And for the information and outfit. I'm just yeah. saying, I think these are analogous. <laughs> At minimum. At minimum. All right. So then... Yeah, so we had we went to go have brunch, which mm-hmm. I still haven't eaten any brunch, by the way. <laughs> I've had a lot of French toast. <laughs> I think she may be out of Texas toast. If she is out of Texas toast by the, ta- the, by the time Ash gets back, he's going to, like, literally kick it out of you. Franz is a growing I just point. want to look at the camera like I'm in the office right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, okay, so we got to do... Wait, I don't even remember her name. What you came up with her I, name. I know. Ruby. 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 Uh, Ruby's yeah. Rose. Ruby's Rose. We went uh, to brunch at Ruby's Rose, and uh, Ruby was all like, can you take care of this? Did you say day? everybody's Rose? No. no. Oh, I thought you just said everybody's Rose. I'm like, what kind of character did you create out of thin air? I don't know. That's <sighs> a good question. Today. <laughs> Lots of coffee. One that tried to flirt with Franz, actually, yeah. towards the end, but... I'm wondering how old she is, which is hilarious. I know. Uh, she's got to be relatively old, given that her and Ash have a history, and Ash is not young. So you're like, sure. what, late 20s, early 30s? Yeah, he's like 31. Cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's probably like within the five-year vicinity of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there were stuff in the basement. Would, f- would Ash the f- date a older woman? Probably. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, when he was younger, I don't know if he would do it anymore. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I imagine he had some run-ins. This is like eighteen twenty-three. I could definitely see Ash, like you know. Yeah, when he was eighteen hundred percent, and then I think he probably I'm gonna go hit about with, like, the twenty-seven, se- the super senior, <laughs> twenty-eight, and then was like that. There's baggage there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna go younger. That's now. some mommy issues right there. <laughs> and now tries to stay within you know like a couple yeah. of years. You know, we're never gonna get through this. We're never. No, <laughs> it's been thirteen fucking minutes. Yeah, right on time too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah. And so we went downstairs, and there were some whatever the fuck those things were. Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah. I mean, Ash. literally ghosts. Kids see ghosts sometimes, you know. Yeah. And we murdered them, and they. I don't think we murdered them. We killed them. D in Porter. I don't. Know. But you took care but of them. Not, they weren't Kaporia. You took care of them. Yeah, no, we took care of them. Yeah. And then they <laughs> took care of you. <laughs> and then Tobias, Tobias, T- Tomas. Tobias is a different character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that Ash went to go find Tomas and uh, hit him with his cane that he pulled out of his cloak. <laughs> It's my favorite, just... <laughs> yeah. Especially just pulling the cane out of your pocket and <laughs> wrapping on his arm. And I think it's very important to point out that Tomas was very upset with the group, particularly Ash, <laughs> and use this and use this to be like a hollier than the older boy. 100%. Yeah, really? and it was yeah. really delicious to watch. It was, it yeah. was so much fun so to play. In character, it was awful, and yeah. Ash is unhappy. Still... Right, and we're walking into an unhappy Ash. Yes. Leia, this, as me, like, totally awesome. That oh, was yeah. so cool. Uh, so much character development, which I appreciate so much. Yeah, character Thank development. Huh? Um, so, let's just catch ourselves up, so. Ash is going to go eat some goddamn breakfast. I think brunch is well, well yet. past brunch at this point. Yeah. Lunch. Um, food. Whatever. He's eating something, he's hungry, and he's I think we're having old. early early supper. <laughs> uh, like the mimosa special is over <laughs> yeah so y'all are uh, does that just say buildings yes more buildings yep. and stuff yep cool. all right cool so yes uh, it does i so, gotta translate that we've got tomas and remember there was a jock guy he was healing up oh that's not you're you're blue you're always blue some uh jock guy um, he was I'm healing up. I always make really? blue. Okay, cool. Um, I thought Ash is always a green figure for some reason. I mean, because I I go. I think I go back and forth. Buy green dice. That'd so be green good. is my green is latest thing. Cool, cool, cool. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, that this is where you're at, fresh from uh, your senior twilight years, and now back to your slightly before middle age, uh, Ash. <laughs> Hey, now, I'm digging if at he was, him. If he was living till he was 90, that? then he was definitely oh. not middle aged yet. Oh, it was just us. Okay. I just That's us I have a keyboard right here, so I figured I'd use it. Fair enough. Um, and uh, so the jock guy, uh, he's all healed up. He has a little scratchy, but it, you know, it's just it's aesthetic. Yeah, because yeah. Ash healed him because Tobias was all like, <laughs> or Tom, Tomas was all like, I gotta heal this guy, and Ash was like, Fine. Oh yeah, and he left <laughs> pros. He left pros feet on you. Um. I was really happen? hoping it wasn't going to be a real thing. Oh, no, he definitely did. Next time Ash looks in the mirror, he's going to be going up to Tom- Tomas like, uh, uh-huh. no. <laughs> like, so Frank comes up and like, hey, is that what happens when you get old? You're perpetually <laughs> tired and like shit. The cane that he still has out, he's going to whack you with it. Okay. Uh, Roll. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's so tasty. Uh, 17. That hits my AC. Good. I don't do any damage. I wasn't meant to be a damage dealer. Although, <laughs> don't ever underestimate, because sometimes you die when little kids kick you in the shins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, what that is, but all I know is you have to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Okay. Unless your passive perception is 17. Uh, my passive perception is 19. Okay, I'm going to give you... Um, all right. I'm, we're going to wreck on that a little bit. You still have to do it because, like, you're... 
they're pretty much in range. So it's so totally your, your, your PP is too high. So this <laughs> is the this is the way the day is gonna go. I just rolled that one. Oh, beautiful! I love it. I'm going to say you also fall prone on that. Like there's. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's for the long ass recap. Um, <laughs> and that was necessary. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. You Lots see. Of stuff last time, so um. So fun. right now you're having a fun time fucking with Ash, um, <sighs> and things look okay for the most part. You know, it's I mean it's shitty, but it, there's no immediate danger like that. You know, like there was last night. Uh, but you notice um a kind of shambling uh figure. And they don't look, like, zombie-like. It looks very similar to something that you faced very recently. You could do a, a woman. history Well, I'll do a history check. check. Oh, I don't see them anyways. Yeah. Um, that's going to be a good solid 17. Okay. Um, this is almost exactly like what you faced the other day on the road um, that had, that, like, paralyzed people when they got, when you were too close to them. Cool. Um, and, uh, shit, what was I gonna say? They're coming right for you. For um, me, personally? Well, I mean, um, Ash just yeah. got hit with something yeah. and fell over. Oh, cool. Um, hey, okay, dude! Pa- wait, pause for a sec. The only difference is the body's different. Okay, yeah, so. I assumed. Okay. Hey, um, dude! Leave, you're dangerous to people. Shoo! Are you moving away? Yeah, I'm moving away. I'm like, shoo! It's like when a bee shows up out of nowhere, and you're like, fuck, get away, okay. move, get, get out of here. <laughs> okay, so you could pop over here and be out of their range, but t- these three are going to have to. You failed, and you're like, Ugh! and then you're like, you're like, uh, you know the fainting goats? <laughs> That's you. Um, this is, this is how this is going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, Tomas is frozen. Good. Uh, but at least he's still standing. Whatever. Actually, I think he's uh, I think he's still crouched in front of the guy. Um, and he looks at <clears throat> That's a really uncomfortable position to be um, in. His hammies. And uh, this guy... I, I know. Um, this guy saves. Um, and his eyes go like wide with fear when he sees this coming right at you. And like, let's all roll for initiative. Hey, fuck face! You didn't hear me the first time? God damn it, you're going into Dice, dice Jail. You're Jesus. Going to dice Jail? Dice Jail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. I'm gonna go with 18. I'm gonna go with, uh. Oh, wait, no. Birds have decent 10. That's still a 10. I rolled a 3. Okay, one second. Cool. I rolled three threes so far today. That's why that dice is going to jail. I got dice. Uh, Where is the Dice Jail? Oh, there it is. It's over there. It's too far. Yeah, no. I'm just short. I could get it, but I really don't want to. First up is Franz. What do you do? You are not paralyzed. I know, I'm dope. Cool. Um, well... It's like, what, 35 feet from you right now? Yeah, Mm -hmm. I'll move up. I'm gonna go up to it. It's 35 feet away, so how... I mean, I've got all the movement in the world. I'm a dashy boy. Okay. What do you do? Dash, dash. I'm moving up to him. I'm gonna... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going up to him, yeah. Okay. Actually, you could get that. Yeah. Cool. So I did or not did you did or did not use my dash? You did not. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to bonus action summon my shadow blade. Uh huh. Be like, hey, fuck you. Silva's gonna poop on him, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to hit this dirty bastard. Um, uh, does a twenty-three hit? Of course nice. it does. Cool. Hey, you can't say of course. <laughs> no, I know. Once you once we get like we're level seven now, and sometimes sure. those ACs are actually like twenty-six, and you're like, what the fuck? Okay, so booming blade, and I deal all my damage. Boom, boom, boom. Um, Damn. How many sixes did I get? Okay, six, 12, 18, Lots. 24, 7, 35, uh, 40 damage. Sounds good. And I'm going to, I'm out of movement, but I can still technically disengage. You can. Can't move. But I'm disengaged. Hey, fuck you. Can't wait to it. Okay. Next up is this guy. Um, is he gonna run away like the bitch that he is? Actually, no. What's that? Good. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, <coughs> and he's going to make two attacks. Nope. First one hits, second hits. 
one second. Hey, dude, what's your name? Lloyd. Cool, I figured. Made a Lloyd look on you. Wish I knew where my fucking V8s was. I got there V8s. Go. I got it. That's it. So buy these dash, uh, dice sets that give you like 2d20s, 4d6s, and 1d8. And it feels he, so useful. One second. Um, so he goes once across like the neck, once across the chest, and it's just like total carnage. It's still up, you know, and it's still mm-hmm. looking pretty fucking beefy. Um, make an insight check since you're right next to. I can do that. Them. Um, well. I'm right in front of it, <laughs> but it's going to be six. I mean, Lloyd looks like he really wants to kill that thing. Cool, Lloyd. Let's kill this thing. I'm totally uh, on board. Ash. I have no reservations. Um, like Anthony you Bourdain. You can make... Oh, no. You can't do anything. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, no. It's its turn, so you can, because um, at the end of its turn, you'll be able to do stuff, and I cool. totally beefed it. All right, this one. Uh, you did more damage to this thing. But it just turns with like a almost hatefully at this guy, and makes two attacks. What'd you do, fuck his mother? Oh my god! Smite. This this is a really good die. This is four rolls above fifteen. I my love it. Crit yesterday. Um, God, I wish I had. There we go. Um, and he's or she's gonna fuck him up real bad. So that's eight plus. Twenty-six does twenty-six damage to Lloyd. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is? <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to <laughs> run a session here. Oh, we're in blood <laughs> as a uh, And she knocks him prone with the what? sheer force mm. and the amount of damage she dealt to this motherfucker. Uh, well, Can I make so. a in oh, perception oh. check to see, like, in the ballpark, oh. how much damage the thing this did? Twenty-six. I'm just gonna. Oh, cool, cool. That's the shit. Fuck. Yep. Oh, man. Not um, as impressive as me, but, you know, yep. cool. Shut the fuck up. And um, it, just, it just makes two dead-ass fist attacks. Like, it's just pummeling. So this was a monk at some one time. Um, oh, or do I see, like, some brass knuckles on it, maybe? No, it's just, like, okay. beefy. beefy uh, okay. Ash, you are no longer paralyzed. Yay. Go. Yeah, last time we fought this thing. I didn't do shit. I mean, You're still prone, though. And... Um, you are frightened of it. So the only thing I can do is run away then? No. Right? No. Yeah, no, it's, it's not that, fear? That's, that's it's not, not fear. fear. Okay. You just can't move towards it. And your attacks have disadvantage. You're just not having a good time with, uh, <laughs> with these other Ash is having a very bad day. Yeah. Ash, Ash apparently accumulated some shit karma. Yeah. And is just having a really bad day. You that's killed funny. a guy. I did. But, I mean, AoE spells, if you want. That sucks. Uh, <coughs> one of them would have been a fucking crit. But no. whatever. It's fine. It's cool. I think this one still hits. What is it? Uh, it's um, 17. Hits. Dope. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm not going to start. Uh, eight. Damage? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I was like, that's a number. Why do I have a number? And then I realized there's a reason. Dude's got an arrow somewhere around his body right now. Yep. Um, Tomas is not a ranged fighter, but maybe he has something. You should have a javelin, bro. I think he does, actually. I'm just going to have him do that. I mean, paladins usually have javelins. He's just going to... When you use fast character generator, they always have javelins. They do. (laughs) Oh, well, that's a four and then a two. So with disadvantage. He's like, oh. he actually makes this, like, really awkward noise as he, like, fumbles to, you know, switch his sword out for a javelin. And he throws it and, like, it. you hear, like, a cat <laughs> scream, like, and run off. Bro, you got to invest okay, in stuff. It's but okay, he, but he scared it. Um, like, you know, he can't, he can't move towards it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. doesn't um, matter what he, what he has. Next up is Franz. Cool. Kill this son of a bitch. Doing the same thing. This is why I should be a fighter. Yeah, it is. Okay. Because you have dice that are obviously weighted. Yeah. I should actually <laughs> get some water and try to see. Um, he has dice that are obviously weighted. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, booming blade. I'm assuming a 27 hits. Yep. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
35 damage. All right. That happens. Is bitch dead yet? No. It's just like you said 35? 35. Okay. 35, ouchies. Um, <laughs> it just looked bloodied with that hit. Okay. Maybe you should have move? Maybe, maybe, maybe you should move? Um, <laughs> Lloyd stands up, um, and he's, and he, once again, making, uh, two attacks. Cool. First one's a hit. Second is a miss. Yeah, um, what? Can you do anything? I mean, can't damage. hit me. If okay. it moves, it uh, takes damage to hit me. Bad job. I see. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Arcatrix are two footer. I don't know what that's called. This, uh, the, the, like, undead creature looks to you, um, as it raises its fists again. And then it, it just says in, like, this, like, really just, like, gritted teeth, like, uh, what's it gonna say? I wish I fucking knew what it was. I called. told you to leave, asshole. Give me more coffee. Okay. Don't get involved is what you hear very, um, you know, say one. T- tersely. And then it makes two more when? punches at the other dude. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We can we can slow down uh-huh. and we can talk about this. I am confused and I am fifteen and I am impulsive. Uh-huh. Well, uh, it's it also attacking. Like so. Oh man, Lloyd looks to be on death's door right now. With after just luckily the first one missed. Like I think what happened was the first punch hit so hard he teetered back, and when it went for the second one, he was still like off kilter. Um, Ash, you're up. Bro, you gotta touch yourself. <laughs> no, it wasn't seven. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Like, I just imagine my headcanon for paladins lay on hands as they're just so pent-up church boy about masturbation <laughs> that they channel all that sexual tension into healing. Um, so what Tomas is going to do... Some of the paladins are, like, altar boys. Um, <clears throat> he Boring is boys. going to <laughs> bless this guy, because he's looking pretty fucked up and looks like he kind of needs something. Um, yeah. and then he's going to use a bonus action... Um, to compel duel um, and try and get them to... I mean, he's really scared, so he's like, come, c- come fight me! Fuck, oh, this thing has to go through me before it gets to him. Yeah, but it, but it would still on... try to go to... Yeah. Oh, that's fair. But it's saved on the throw. So, you're up. Tomas obviously this isn't cool. No. Can we skip it's a very... turn? No, I, I did stuff. Oh. I just yeah. failed at it. Because I'm at a disadvantage right now, so... Um, does a 16 hit? Yes, it does. Shit. How do you have so many dice every time? Well, I have Sova Poop on it, so it gives me advantage. The help action. Yep, and then my sneak attack, because I have advantage, well, mm-hmm. plus he's near him, is 46. And then Shadow Blade is 2d8, and Booming Blade adds another 1d8. Jesus, okay. So. Yeah. Fucking rose, man. Fucking rogues. Mm-hmm. But I have one action. T- I have one tech t- 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 turn. And if I miss or I don't have advantage, okay, 12, 16, 18, 31, 5, 30 damage. That's just barely enough to kill it. Cool. So give me the flavor of how you kill this thing. Um, I want to, like, like cut through both its um, hands. Mm-hmm. And then... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they were doing a lot of damage. The thing comes back. It's a little stubby. And then <coughs> right through um, the throat into the head. Nice. Um, it. And it lets out, like, this kind of, like, blood-curdling, like, scream as you just kill it. And it falls limp to the ground. And uh, Tomas, like, looks over Ash's shoulder at it. And he's like, double tap. Cool. And then I take my rapier. Mm-hmm into the head again but like yeah I know oh. <laughs> Ash and, uh, is just, he's like... just like <laughs> pretending he wasn't just scared um shitless of it um and he walks over uh to this guy and you know he's looking really rough and he's like I'm, I'm sorry but I I used up all my healing the first time on you uh, maybe, maybe god damn it I gotta you. start using inspiration y'all Somewhere. I keep forgetting it <laughs> 
So, uh, dude, Lloyd, um, why was this thing trying to murk you? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of undead things here yesterday. It was I... coming specifically for you. I was, like, really fucking this day, thing's day up. What? I mean, well, I, you didn't let me finish talking. <laughs> um, I kind of killed a lot of, of these undead things yesterday, and maybe Did they're you? a sort of hive mind, and, you know, they all perceive me as a threat, so naturally, they want to kill me. Or you're just a... Hey, do we still have that note? <gasps> Is Lloyd the guy in the note? <laughs> Actually, that was in character. Uh, <laughs> and he goes... <laughs> what note was that? Yeah. And Lloyd says that at the same exact time. The note you just sent today? No. no. Oh, my okay, okay, you like guys remember sessions. when there was that, like, old woman <coughs> who was, like, on the road and we killed her? Oh, yeah! And, like, there was a note and it, like, was Lloyd or whatever. Are you Lloyd? You're Lloyd. You're Lloyd. They're Lloyd. literally yeah. trying to kill you. Yeah, that's true. Specifically you. Yeah, they all have your address and shit. Yeah. Someone's got a vendetta. Who? I don't know. What, I, do we have still have a letter? He, like, I, I'm just literally going through. And it's What's like... your, you built your character on insight. Yeah. So, what do you feel Ash would kind of like, I'm trying to treat it like a passive perception. Yeah. So, cool. That's like, awesome. what's your, what would be like your passive insight? Like what would I what would I be looking for on a regular basis? Or yeah. Like, uh, I mean, I think that that likely. Well, that's hard. Um, I think most of the time it would be whether or not they're telling the truth. Like, if they look surprised, is it feigned? Mm. Um, like that kind of stuff. Like. Okay. Um. <clears throat> when he said who, that felt a little fake. Mm. All right. So. Cool. That's uh, with your passive. Because, like, I know that you built your character with that in mind. So I did, yeah. So if you have good passive, wiz- you know, passive perception, I feel like passive insight should also be like, what's my bullshit detection? I actually really like that idea. This is something we should talk about at the end of the stream is mm. uh, the idea of, like, passive yeah, because I um, feel like passive perception is the only thing that gets something. Right, but like that's or... there are like lots of other passive insight. I mean, there is passive insight. What is your passive insight? Twenty but... one. What, what I mean like, is it just without the? It's your, no, it's your entire modifier on top of ten. So like my oh, perception shit. is nine um... plus ten is nineteen for passive perception. So my passive would be nineteen. Oh okay, then there we go. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh shit! Then my passive perception is sixteen. Oh, I don't have a pencil on me today. Yeah, it's one of those things that, like, no one ever really uses except for very specific circumstances, and most people do it wrong. It's just, oh, it's just your modifier plus Well, I mean, 10. so, yeah, so before, too, like, 5e changed path <coughs> perception from 3-5, and also is different from Pathfinder. Mm-hmm. And so it's one of those things that, like, I had assumed. I knew what it was supposed to be, and then it's not. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's also something we can talk about. Yeah. Let us. Um, the end of this. So, uh, it's like, who? Who who would be after? I mean, they only just showed up last night. I, I did a good job, you know. I'm kind of a local hero and all that, but, I mean. Mm, you know, would they... though. Pretty sure you know. I have a feeling you know. Who I'm are you? I'm bullshitting. Who am I? I'm, uh, I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> he dead ass just starts laughing at that. That, like, that was also he <laughs> like he's a little nervous right now. But when like fifteen year old Franz with like peach fuzz like on his face just goes, "I'm your worst nightmare." Holding a dreadful shadow blade, having yeah. almost single handedly murdered this thing. <laughs> Even still, he laughs at you. Um, he just he Ash he thinks is also that. Laughing. A little bit. Yeah. It's like, oh man, you guys don't like my cool sword. Like he thinks I do that like your cool all of you the are thing actually comes from very the sword. scary. <laughs> yeah. It's just you're also fifteen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he thinks that all of your ability comes from like that thing. So like if you got, if you had a mundane thing, then you would just be some shitty fifteen year old. I mean, no, but pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, the aesthetic is lost. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, uh, doesn't matter who we are. We killed both of the things that were trying to kill you, but they'll send another one. 
Yeah. Because they announced You're like, putting two the town at risk because it has that, like, kind of, like, aura around it that really fucks people's day. Mm, I mean, no, this... This wasn't me. Well, this I one in particular do... was you. Yeah. I and mean, the last anything... one, too. I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, mm. wrong <laughs> is not the question here. <laughs> I think you're lying. See, I was um, going to use one of my other... Like, I was going to, like, help you heal some, but no, I'm not, because you're annoying. And lying to me. Uh, Tomas actually pulls you aside if you allow him. Like, he's not, like, full... It's just, like, kind of like a sidebar. Like, if you're here, he just wants to, like, pull you back over here instead. Would you uh, let him? So I I'm mean... He's going to have a very annoyed look on his face, but yes, he will go with okay. Tomas 15 feet away. Uh, so he trusts that Franz won't let the guy go. Um, and Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He he trusts that, like, you could do a good job. Yeah. Um, Whether or not he would try is the, yeah. is the question. Um, and Tomas goes, what, what do you mean you think he's lying to you? I mean, he's lying. About I don't what? think he's lying. He's lying that he doesn't know why these things are after him or who it is. Do you think he... He goes quite... He goes, do you think he is the cause of this? Do you think he brought them here? Or I do don't you think, think that he... he was the cause of the entire horde happening through town. I think that these specific two instances... He's not the necromancer, but he pissed one off somehow. Or pissed off someone who paid a necromancer or... Something. Okay. Uh, okay. And he does know why. Good. And he allowed, you know, that he just wanted to, like, Paladin wanted to know, like, oh, how is he lying? Is he a necromancer? Because I might have to. If he had been a necromancer, Ash would have just, like, skull, like just knife <laughs> and skull. You guys coming back to the conversation? Yeah, we are. So you think if, like, I should just let it grow out? <laughs> or keep shaving? Because it's just, like pube face right now. Keep shaving. Ash is not even asked. <laughs> he, just, he just looks at you and says, keep shaving. I need to go. You don't, though. No, you don't. <laughs> Who are you? The police? I mean, I... No, the sheriff? Sorry. I don't know if police is like an advent yet. It's like, it doesn't matter. Badge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's because, fuck it. That's oh, how I'm feeling right man. now. <laughs> Make your threes, man. There's all threes, but somehow yeah. no one knows that's still a 19. What the fuck? <laughs> how high is your deception? With that badge? Oh, Ridiculous. Shit. <laughs> like, it's like almost. I mean, it's 11 by itself. Oh, wait, yeah. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I have advantage. You do. So it is actually 24. Yep. Um, uh, and his eyes go wide when he sees that badge. And you don't know what it says for him, but you know he does not feel comfortable anymore. I'm Good. part of an internship uh, program. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ash is like... And he goes, the, the, the local... The, 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 and it's literally said, the, the, the local authorities already concluded it was an accident. I mean, that doesn't make you not responsible. As they say, recent developments have us reopening the case. Um, uh... <laughs> I saved this town. Bum, bum, dum, Any dum, actions dum, made dum. after the... Like, just, I mean, good actions don't cancel out bad ones. Well, I, uh... This ain't the church. Hmm. So, wh why? What are you here for? To interrogate you. I mean, no, we're not. We're actually this... I didn't say torture. Excuse me? Let's go talk. No. Let's go over uh, early supper. Look, we're trying to figure out undead stuff. Undead are after you. I don't actually personally care why. I want to hear it from you so I can figure out how to regularly stop undead things from coming to life and perhaps find the necromancer that is... Animating corpses that are trying to kill you. However, once it? I let you go, which I will. Plus, you saved this town. I'm assuming you want to continue saving the town, and you not cooperating with us is actually. I mean, the I, town I am cooperating. I don't know what more. a necromancer is. Okay, a necromancer is a person who does magic that animates. I don't even know if Ash would know this, but that animates 
uh, it reanimates dead things. Yeah. I Makes think he would have gotten... So, we're trying to find out who is the cause of the hall of the reanimation. You happen to have a personal tie. We're going to let you go after this. I... However, they're probably still going to come kill you. And you're just going to have to deal with that for the rest of your life. Because they're just shambling corpses. They're going to continue to come at you until one of them gets the job done. Or we find the necromancer. And I think fucked you up pretty damn good. It would have killed you, in fact. Um, things with your passive... Oh, let me just see. Cool. Okay. Things with your passive insight. As soon as you're trying to understand his relation to any necromancer, he looks visibly relieved. Um, he genuinely is trying to think of, like, I don't know a necromancer. I don't know anything. Yeah. So... Make with that what you will, but if you want to do an additional insight with a specific question in mind, uh, then you could do another roll. Okay. Um, I'm going to do an insight on, like, is he talking about, like, someone died? Like, this accident? Okay. Um, 20. Yeah, like, it definitely seems like he was involved with, or, like, somehow with someone's death. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, like, he originally thought that you were investigating him as if, like, he was the one that killed him. But as soon as you're like, oh, no, we're trying to figure out why necromancers are after you, he goes, oh, okay. Right. So. Because Ash doesn't actually care what we do with this guy. I mean, I'm sure Tomas cares, but mm-hmm. I don't. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, yeah, Ash is, Ash is just going to say, I just want to hear you tell the story one more time about what happened just to see if there are any With details the that the locals missed necromancer no about the person who died it's obviously uh, doing something to try and kill you um knowing more about them i i, I don't see how out. they're related well, because that's why they're coming after you um which means likely their spirit might be the same spirit. Um, he pauses and he's like thinking, and you could tell with. Let me just uh, <coughs> see what he's. I just want to make sure that his. Okay, yeah. Uh, he does. I mean, he's still real pretty high, but not beating your passive insight. Um, it looks like he is remember what he recited um so it's very by rote like it was i was with my girlfriend we were walking along the river she fell and it was a strong current and she did not make it i tried to get her it was too late how did she fall into the river women are clumsy Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on this. <clears throat> Enjoy that tasty, <laughs> tasty plot hook. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm calling uh, bullshit. I mean, sounds like something you recited. Tell me, okay. Reverse. Tell me about your girlfriend. Just who was she? She was the woman I wanted to marry. Right, but. Who was she? What was her family? What was she interested in? Who was this woman? She was pretty. What kind of pretty? No, no, I know it's cringy, but this is the answers he's given. She barf on camera. Was the prettiest girl in the uh, the town? Okay, Toby. I think she she liked reading. Um. She liked. So this is the outside. beast that killed Bell. That's what we're saying right now. I was in <laughs> dead ass. I was like, okay, what else did I, I was about to say? Like she liked wearing blue dresses. Like just. Mm, um, okay. Girl, I Cool. Um. I guess we did go to Ruby Roses. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And her name was Leor. Okay, um, I'm gonna need you to tell me what actually happened that night. That is what actually happened. I'm, I'm thinking that it wasn't that. 
this. We're going to keep going this back and forth. We know you're lying. You know you're lying. You telling us that you're not lying is just going to keep make us keep saying, no, you actually are lying. So we can. Are you here to arrest me? Sure. Sure, we can arrest you. With what authority? You're going to have to uh, go to the uh, sheriff for the rights for that. Uh, we have uh, right here. That's Look, from your jersey. The last person that I was supposed to detain that chose to just be an asshole died. So it is up to you. I don't really care if I take you anywhere or if I get the answers a different way. Tomas at that point, he, he puts his hand on your chest <laughs> and he's like, That's fair. Excuse me. Fine. Paladin. Continue. Let's, on. Uh, let's sidebar, please. Um, and he nudges you back again. It's um, all an intimidation tactic. Tomas. No, we can't do that. I mean, Intimidate what are you going to do? What? Intimidate people into telling us things? I mean, we can't say anything we're not going to follow through on. It's very effective. <laughs> Listen, we can keep Why not? an eye on him. We can get the sheriff's whatever he wants. It, what? Okay. I mean, I, I don't like... I don't know. I mean, what, what, what time proof is it? do we have? It's uh, probably like one. Okay, so it's starting to get dark out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What proof do you have besides a hunch that this man murdered someone? <sighs> this, is, this, is, this is in character. It's just like, okay. We can lie to people. To you. get them to tell us that, yes, and were you talking? No. You were not. No. Because I try not to interrupt unless I feel it's absolutely necessary so that you will understand. If I'm interrupting you, it's not because I'm trying to be petty. I'm aware of that. Sometimes I question that. Whether or not you're trying to be petty? No, whether or not you're aware that I'm not trying to be petty. I generally, no, you are not trying to be petty. And Before I was, though. Oh, I'm, I know when you're being petty. You have a certain look on your face. Yeah. See, certain people have certain looks on their faces when they're telling the truth, or lying, or extremely guilty about murdering someone. Then let's go to the sheriff. Look, this doesn't matter outside of if we find the necromancer and maybe we stop undead things from coming alive in the first place. But if you believe he killed his girlfriend, should he not see justice? I believe that the sheriff has already made up his mind and we have no additional proof to give other than my word, which is being very little. <laughs> well, doesn't my brother have something that can compel him? If I was want literally your, just about to If do you that. want your brother to uh -huh just be willy-nilly doing magic about, sure. I mean, of course, I've been... Of course, puts a target on the back of his head, but sh sure. Birdie died I, once. Um, I got a death wish. He holds wish. up his hands and he goes, well, I mean, I used magic to save a lot of people today. Yeah, but he didn't do it in front of the sheriff and he didn't give him his name, and he didn't give him your name. Which we would have to do if we go to the sheriff. The whole reports and everything... Which would we put us down first. as magic users. I'm yeah. not doing that. Y'all can do that. I'm not doing that. If it will help justice be served, I'm willing to put that target on my back. It's so selfless of you. So paladin. Um, uh, and he walks over to you. Uh, Frost. So Rogaine? Is that the product you're recommending? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm, I, I keep getting up because I'm looking for a pencil. It's uh, really what's up. Um, Tomas, uh, like, kind of like leans down and like whispers in Yuri. Goes, I'm gonna need that truth candle of yours. He's like, Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he holds out his hand. And, Do you give it to him? Yeah, I give it to him. Okay. He pockets it and then uh, he turns to Lloyd and he goes, I think it's time we go to the sheriff. Okay. Lloyd's girlfriend's name was? Lior. Well. No. 
going to the sheriff, aren't we? Y'all are going to the sheriff. Oh, okay. You didn't want to be part of it at all? Nope. Okay. Um, what do you do in the meantime, just so I have an idea? Actually, no. Tell me what you do. Uh, so I don't mean to split the party. I don't want to take it away. Like, oh, no, no. It... It's, I'm fine. I'm fine with splitting the party because I, I mean, I don't. In my head, I don't see something terrible happening. But granted, this is you. I mean, last time you took me into a an official government building. Yeah. Yeah. He made it out at least. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have one question. Yeah. What do the boots of unwinding do? You mean boots of winding path? Whatever. Yeah, I have unwinding. Sorry, winding path. When did I? When did I give you those? Uh, they were on Darius's feet. Yes. Uh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I took um, them. <laughs> I love them. Um, so boots of winding path is as a bonus action. I mean, as a rogue, it's it's kind of not great for a rogue because you have it's like bonus action disengage, um, but you could disengage and teleport. Um, it's a misty step. It's a fifteen foot misty step. Okay, I'll take much. that. So like it's <clears throat> you and you don't have to disengage. It's um it's just oh, I can occupy uh, a space within fifteen feet um mm-hmm. so long as I was in that space at one point during this turn. Okay, that's cool. So, if you needed to haul ass away, then now you have forty five feet of movement. Dope, um, dope, 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 dope. That is all. Uh. So I'm stuck between, like, stealthing after them to make sure nothing awful happens to Franz mm-hmm. and just going back to the Ruby Rose and having breakfast. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go back to the Ruby Rose and have some breakfast. <coughs> <coughs> Sounds good. Breakfast for later. Um, so Lloyd reluctantly leads you to the sheriff's office only because, especially since you're not there and, like, you were the one that was, like, the authority, he's like, fuck, I got this in the bag. Um, and when you get to the sheriff's office, it is just completely, uh, full to the brim with, like, zombies, uh, in holding cells, pretty much. Um, as... fucked up. I... As he's trying to figure out how to kill them. Like, he's like, all right, we led them here, now what? And he's, like, like, awkwardly, like, moving in front of them and, like stabbing one in certain places, you know, just, you know, trying to figure out how to, like, make them die most efficiently. The trick is to lower their health below zero. It generally (laughs) works. I mean, he doesn't know it. Like, I mean, he's never encountered an undead before, uh, but he's doing his best. I'm just going to go up and I'm going to start stabbing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and, uh, the, he's a, he's an old guy, um, like, wispy, long, white beard. How did you grow that? Uh, and he goes, uh, time and patience, my friend. Damn, I don't uh, have either of those things. <laughs> you are quite spry and doing a good job, uh, thank you. That's the first you... time anyone has ever actually said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> you probably hang around other young people. Nope. <laughs> Most <laughs> of them are really old. <laughs> Especially one of them. <laughs> Ash has definitely told you that you do a good job. Although he has never called you spry. Because he's not that old. <laughs> and uh, he turns around to see Tomas and Lloyd, and he looks a little surprised to see uh, Lloyd, uh, especially in his level of fucked upness. Uh, and he goes, oh my, uh, are, are they still out there? I, I thought we got them all rounded up, the ones that were left. No. Oh, so, uh, Sheriff, right? Sheriff what? Uh, Sheriff Pickin. Pickin, hi, it's Sheriff Pickin. It's wonderful to meet you. My name's Franz. Um, so there's, like, a sentient group of zombies that are after this guy. Um, don't know what you want to do with that information. Oh, that's Lloyd. Yeah, they all, like, have his address and his name. They're carrying little slips of paper. Might have something to do with, like, him probably killing his girlfriend. Um, he stares for a moment and he goes, Son, you're not from here, how... How did that spread? Uh, I mean, he told us pretty much everything, except that he actually did kill his girlfriend. We're assuming and that. I didn't. I did not kill her. We, sheriff, you, you already held, held. Oh, uh, Tomas has a. Yeah. I think it. 
Well, uh, what's it called? We'll get there. Um, Is it a little dark in here? You, Sheriff, you have already held under a court of law that I am an innocent man over this. Uh, these outsiders are just trying to discredit me. Um, as the protector of the town, maybe they want to try and get into your good graces. <laughs> Actually, Sheriff Bicken, um, totally, like, don't really mm-hmm. care about the situation. Mm-hmm. Kind of, not really. Um, but he's going to be leading more zombies into this town, which mm-hmm. is... And they have, like, this, like, weird magical ability that, like, there's, like, this... If you're, like, around them, they kind of, like, hurt you in, like, some immaterial way. So you should be invested in this. Um... At that point, Tomas uh, asks, Sheriff, sir, um, how, what are your thoughts on magic? Um, and the sheriff goes, well, I, I thought fairly of it until recent events, and I think a little less of it now. And uh, Tomas goes... God, it's it's so awkward, like going back and forth. Yes, it's like DM's favorite uh, favorite thing to do is talking to themselves. Yep. Yeah, just gotta hold yep. up a mirror. Yeah, um, in which case Tomas goes if gone. if I were to say uh, there was a magic that we can use to compel people to tell the truth, would you permit that here? It doesn't compel them to actually speak. They can choose not to speak. But if they utter anything, it ha- it, everything that comes out of their mouth is truthful. And the sheriff uh, thinks for a while, and he goes, Is this magic similar to the kind that brought these things? And he gestures to, like, the pile of zombies that you made. I'm still, still, yeah. I'm like, I'm literally just talking. I'm just like, oh, yep. God, this is so boring. Yeah. Um, I'm like, no, this is... So there are different kinds of magic in the world. This kind of magic is about reanimating dead flesh. This kind of magic is from a different kind of source. Mm. That, um... I mean, you seem to know quite a bit about magic. Yes, I have this uh, very green owl on my shoulder. <laughs> I, you always say, assume she's in the pocket dimension. That's true. So Yeah, yeah she's out. Okay. Uh, she flies out and is like, oh, that is a fantastic beast. Yeah, she's really <laughs> cute and very fluffy. <laughs> I'm glad you caught that. Um, I wonder where you can find those. <laughs> Do you want to go into my pocket dimension? <laughs> Did you? Uh, Hans. I love that one. Um, and uh, That's he goes, oh, no, that sounds... That sounds quite scary, I it's will say. very um, scary, but she's there, and she's pretty cool. Well, I, well I've become cool if I'm in there. It's like our lone little nook <laughs> under the stairwell. And he goes, um, listen, I, um, I know that in parts south of here, there are very, very uh, harsh things that happen to those who do magic and who condone magic. I care about the safety of this town and he looks to Lloyd um, and he goes we've found you innocent once if you're innocent we'll find you innocent again and if it helps everyone here the kind of magic that this little truth telling will be is the same kind of magic that's helped save many of your townspeople after the attack that my my people do magic uh, this guy does, and I point to my uh, And Tomas just gives a little wave. He's got little... really, really soft hands. <laughs> yes, he does. They're like baby hands. Yeah. There's a lot of oh. moisture. Just a lot of, like, moisture. That's why you so. can't throw a javelin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, he goes, well, let, let us do it. And um, so I think willing creatures don't need to make a save. Yeah, you can choose to yeah. submit to the effect. And uh, Tomas will go, I am... You can willfully uh, submit to the effect. Um, Sheriff, if, if you would like to see what it is, I am going to also willfully submit to it. Bronze. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he lights it. Lloyd's not going to willfully submit to it. Um, and uh, Tomas goes, well... Uh, and Lloyd's like, 
Yes. Remember, we can tell if it's working or not. Or they yeah. can tell if it's working oh, or not. Oh, uh, no. Uh, it is working. Sorry. Okay, it is working. Um, what's your full name, sir? God damn you with asking full names! <laughs> <laughs> Every time! Is it Frank Lloyd Wright? No, it is Lloyd Andrew Weber. Lloyd Andrew Weber. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, um, <laughs> can you tell us what your girlfriend, your late girlfriend was like? She was pretty. What kind of pretty? Like, nine out of ten pretty. I turned to the sheriff. And he goes, she was a ten out of ten for me. Aww. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, but, uh, I mean, purely uh, platonic, she is, you know, she could be my granddaughter. Speaking of which, um, who is she in the town? Who, who is she the daughter of? What's her... Status. Um, well, she lives with, or lived with her father, um, who has since passed away. What happened um, to the father? He, uh, after losing her. Could be the dad. Sorry. After, so after. And he goes like this, like, he's not, like, yeah. lying, he's just, like, he was hoping that it was implied. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. when, when he, like, asked, and Tomas goes, he's saying he killed himself, doofus. You know, you're an asshole, and you know I'm saying that truthfully. <laughs> um, cool. What happened to the mother? Um, I, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I should know more about my own denizens, but I, I don't know. Mr. Weber. And uh, Lloyd goes. Yes. What happened to um the mother? Never knew her. I'm sure she spoke about her mother in some capacity. He's thinking hard. If, if she spoke about her, he wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. Did you... Uh, listen, did you ever really listen to her? No. Did you love her? This is a tough question for me to answer because Good. I don't know love and infatuation are the same things um and They're he not goes, the same things. yeah but i don't know if he would like know so i don't want to say like oh yes he loves her but it, like above table he just thought she was pretty and she was gonna be his trophy wife okay. um so i mean if that's what he thinks love is then the answer would be yes yeah. but if that's but if he knows that love is different yeah. different then he yeah. would have to say no yeah so i would think he's gonna say yes okay um, that's gross that's very gross um <laughs> What was her... What did she want to do with her life? Have Be my wife. babies? Oh. <laughs> Cute. Um, what were you doing down by the river that day? Man. Uh, he goes, this... Um, this is painful for me. I'm sure. Um. I would appreciate you not ask that. Um, and I turned to the sheriff. I'm like, this is exactly what we're here to discuss. So mm -hmm. appreciations are not being granted here. Um, the sheriff is, he's looking uncomfortable because, like, Lloyd <clears throat> is a fairly well-regarded person in the right. town. Yeah. Um, and he's, like, caught because you're a stranger. And this is, like, the person that everyone you know was protected yeah. by he did, has all these accolades i'll ref i'll ref i'll ask a different question then mm -hmm. sheriff so she the river was unruly that day and she drowned correct that's the official record was it common knowledge that the river was experiencing a day of rapids um and he uh he thinks he goes i i i don't think so no is it unusual for the river to become a rapids? It happens sometimes. Um, it depends on uh, many ecological events. Naturally. Um, do people tend to go down by the river when it's experiencing a rapids, a rapid? Yes, because, uh, I mean, not to go swimming, but right. in order to 
you know, it's a nice day. People want to go there. They like the sound of the water, maybe for a picnic or to run around. Do you have a drowning problem in the city? A what? A drowning problem. Sometimes. uh, We do our best. uh, But every now and again, children who think they are stronger than they are fall victim. But we're not talking about a child. We're talking about a fully grown woman. Um, yes. <laughs> and it's Are the not... rabbits strong enough to carry an adult? Mm. Children, I understand. And he... This, I'm gonna say something cringy. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't mean to... He's like... Uh, it's your NPC, that's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah, get that, everyone. Well, ASMR maybe... coffee pouring. <laughs> And he goes, well, women can be fragile. Yeah. Um, and he's like, you know, he's he's not saying, like, here's the thing. Lloyd is a misogynistic bastard. Yeah. Well, you can the be sheriff, a misogynistic yeah. person without knowing that you're a misogynistic person. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, this is, like, I just want to differentiate, like, Lloyd is actively misogynist. And then this guy, he's like... He, he, he wants to do good, but he's... Right, right. Still an active misogynist. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um. Well, no, I just... I, <laughs> no, I'm trying to act out these two different no, things. No, no, so. yeah, yeah. No, you're, I, you're doing yeah. a great job. Yeah, it's okay. I am great just job. being... Sorry. I am. You are awesome. Sorry. You are so good. Uh, this These is, people are terrible. Yeah. Um, but did you know her to be, and I have to say it in words, fragile? Um... I've never seen her, and he thinks, and he goes, she did carry a lot of books. <laughs> Could she swim? I believe so. Yes. Uh, I actually remember um, when she was young, uh, she used to go there uh, all the time when the tide was low, and she would swim in the pond. I remember her saying how much she liked swimming. Do adults ever adults that can swim ever try to swim in the rapids? Yes. And would you say that you frequently have adults drowning that can swim? Oh, it, it does happen. So Lloyd is... He started to, like, kind of, like, make his way out, and he's kind of, like, <laughs> talking to himself. Where are you going? Um, And he goes, I, I just wanted to see... And he started talking to say a lie, and then he realized the truth was coming out, and then he stopped talking. So what I'm trying to get at, Sheriff, and the reason we're doing this whole situation is, this is odd. There's something withheld that we don't know. Yes, an adult can drown in these rapids, but it is unusual for an adult to drown in these rapids. Um, Specifically, this woman to drown in these rapids. And she, as to your point, she is familiar enough with these rapids that if the rapids were, if it was too high or was too dangerous, she wouldn't just fall in. Let me just, do a uh, persuasion check for him. Okay. Um, that's going to still actually be fine. It's going to be 16. Good. Oh. Um, he turns to Lloyd and he goes... Did you kill her that day? Just straight up, like, asking. Mm-hmm. Um, and Lloyd does not respond. Just basically no. Yeah. Or basically yes. It's plead the fifth. Um, yeah. You know what? I understand. Did you tell the whole truth the day you were interviewed by the sheriff? Can you at least answer that question? I don't know if he can. Um, let me think about the... You know what? He, um, he also doesn't answer. Did she want to go down at the river that day, or did you? I did. Why did you want to go down by the river? I... Uh, and this, he kind of sees this as an opportunity now, and he looks to the sheriff, and he goes, I was going to propose that day. I thought you were already engaged. She said no, and 
be pushed. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did yep. you know the sheriff? Um, he goes, no, I, I didn't think, I didn't think it was at that point, Lloyd. I what did so she say? I'm sorry for your, and then he's like, he goes, I'm so sorry for your loss, but then he's also thinking like, yeah. wait a second, you know, um, and Lloyd doesn't answer. Did she say yes? He doesn't answer. Did she say no? No answer. Did she give an answer? Doesn't answer. What happened after you proposed? He doesn't answer. At which case, like, at this point, like, the sheriff has seen, and he knows. Um, Why aren't you answering these questions? You've already basically answered a lot of these to the sheriff. If what you said in the past was truthful, you should be able to say them again. You hmm. you see dumbass going for his dagger. Um, oh. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Well, it's fine. That okay. monster's going to have to kill him now. No, anyway. I know. Um, like... Actually. Ready? Let's let's have, because pretty much he rolled a three, so all three of you see this happen. Let's have the three of you roll initiative to see who acts first. Uh, it's going to be a 16. Okay. Okay. It's the sheriff who acts first. Fuck yeah. Um, Fuck yeah, sheriff. I really hope he has a gun. I really wanted to give him a gun, but you'll see soon why I did not give him a gun, and okay. it's not going to be as soon as right now. That's but fine. you will see soon. That's fine. <laughs> um, what does he do? He actually, I, I imagined him having like a slingshot, but it's like a really beefed up one where he like whips it out, and then he pulls, and it's like, it's like a fucking like a, like, a mini mace ball inside there, so it does like extra mm-hmm. damage. Um, and he fucking gets him. Um, yeah, because Lloyd's sad. Oh, he, max damage. Um, he's already damaged. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was going for non lethal damage with yeah. that one, um, but he completely knocks him out. Um, and you cleared out one of the uh zombie cages, like, they're still in there, yeah. but. Um, and he goes, put him in there. Yeah. I'm 15. Oh my god, Franz. You're not in here. Yeah. <laughs> you um, hear a little voice in your head. Oh my god. I'm kind of tired from taking care of your little zombie problem. He goes, you know what, you... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're right. You're you... ridiculous. <laughs> you're a ridiculous human being. <laughs> you, have... <laughs> you have done this town many services today, young man. <laughs> Um, and while he's saying that, Tomas, you know, picks him up and it's just kind of to take care of the body. <laughs> Sorry, he's just so used to just having, like, deputies be like, alright, go do it. <laughs> Touche. Um, so, uh, Tomas just, like, flops him in on the thing, closes it. Make sure it's, um, like, well, like, really gets some zombie blood all over him. Is he like... gonna get paid for his labor? <laughs> we just did an interrogation for yep. you and put a body in a cage. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> so, he, uh... Opens up a drawer in the, uh, what's it called? Fuck. His, uh, drawer in his, what's the word I'm looking for? Desk. Desk, De- desk. thank you. I can't, cabinet was what kept coming into my head. I was there like, no. There could be a cabinet. There yeah, could be a drawer want, in the cabinet. But I wanted a desk. Um, so he opens up a drawer <laughs> Every graduate desk. student wants their own desk. Yep. It's, that's, it's a... Um, and he pulls out, um, 50 gold pieces for you. Oh. Um, he gives Tomas, uh, 25. <laughs> <laughs> Because you did the whole interrogation, so... Oh, that's entertaining. Um, and then he actually, he pulls out this little jar, and then uh, he opens it up, and he goes, I saved these for special occasions, and it's like a little sweet. Um, yeah. Are they Worthers? You. What? Are they Worthers? It's whatever you want them to be. Yeah, they're Worthers. Um, um, and he goes, you would make a fine officer, young man. <laughs> well, you know, you are an intern. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have an internship program. Where are you from? Um, from the capital. And you, oh, I, I keep forget. I keep going into like Tomas's voice. Yeah. Like he's kind of like a like a. So, uh, you do magic. Yeah. Yeah. In the in the capital. No. Well, I do, but I keep it very hush hush. Um, yeah. So you know, just something to keep in mind is there's different. We call them schools of magic. 
Um, but unlike actual school, they're not as it's not as boring. <laughs> um, Truth. Yeah. And favor somewhere goes. That's a lie. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> and then like just so you know, um, my brother here, he used some of his healing magic to help the town recover. Mm. Um, he's the actual one that helped heal Lloyd. Lloyd turned out to be a douche nozzle. Um, <laughs> excuse my language. I'm 15. Um, <laughs> but. Just so you know, I understand the hesitation around magic, but it did help this town in some capacity. So I'd appreciate if the Inquisition comes through, you just be like, yeah, you know, nothing to see here. Just necromancers on the hill. <laughs> Can I pet your owl? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He is, uh, he's cooing at it. It's kind of embarrassing, but no, he's not. Like, <laughs> he's the well, cutest. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> but, uh, he's get he's getting all into it. Um, mm-hmm. has Silva been pet by anyone besides you? Um, I, no, um, the gnome. The gnome that, um, got away. I'm trying to remember. Um, gnome rogue. Yes, yes, Forget I remember. Yeah. Uh, Bing. Yeah, Bing! I miss uh, Bing. Bing's um, great. Still out there somewhere. Uh, and he goes, well, I appreciate you talking to me about that. Um, it must be difficult having to, uh, hide. Um, thank you for your trust. Of course. Um, in regards to him and I'm pointing Sorry, I'm looking at the camera. (laughs) Um, this spell only lasts for some amount of time. It's an hour. Yeah. Just so. 15 foot radius. 10 minutes, so not long. Okay. Um, when he wakes up, he's not going to be under this effect. Um, but we, we still... Can you tell us a little bit more about the father? If he killed himself out. Yes. Um, he, uh, for as long as I've known, raised her. It was just the two of them. And, uh, you know, she was his pride and joy. He was very proud of her. And um, he had friends in this village, uh, but none of them were able to, you know, pull him out. It's really sad. You'd think. When she was gone. You'd think that Lily would have been proud of her, but. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the sheriff has a lot of self-reflecting to do. Um, Good. And he, he nods, and he goes, yes, and I am sorry um, that I let other things blind me to the truth. This is going to be a really difficult question to answer, and I mean no ill intent with this, but where is she buried? That's an awkward question to ask him, but he... Or daddy. Or daddy. Where, where's their family plot? <laughs> yeah. um, he would give you the. There's like a you know a sem- a small cemetery right. for the town, and he would give you, you know, oh it's uh, at the northernmost part of the uh, town, and uh, they are you know just past the uh, old oak tree. Okay. Um, I have no plans to dig up a grave. I want to make you know aware of that. But we're dealing with. You ever heard the term necromancer? No. So they study a kind of magic that kind of, these things that you fought, it reanimates dead flesh. Then there's a contingency of, I'm assuming, sentient ones that are following and trying to go after. Our current guess right now, and Tomas, let me know if you have any other ideas, Mm. is that Lloyd pissed off a necromancer by killing his maybe fiancé? Um, might be daddy, might not be daddy, don't know yet. So, need to figure out Mm. that kind of stuff. Well, uh, my duty is to my people. Mm -hmm. If you, uh, I mean, I'm not giving you free reign to do whatever, but I will let the groundskeeper know. Can I kind of badge? Don't give him a badge. Do a persuasion check. Okay, that's right. Because you're like a cute little 15-year-old. Is that a nat 20? No, but I have plus 8 to persuasion. Okay. <laughs> so it's a 25. That, um, that intake was definitely yeah. sounded like a nat 20 It did. <laughs> it did. 
Um, <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> you know what? you've, you've, uh, probably kind of Tomas is fuming. Yeah, Tomas is <laughs> just sitting here. But it, you are doing what he wanted, wants to be done. Like, yeah. he wants to see justice served. And, uh, so the sheriff goes in and he has, like, a little temp badge and it just says, honorary deputy. Um, yes. So. Um, one last thing. And, uh, um, sorry, you were saying something. Tomas goes, listen, uh, we need to get up north, but I, I, if this is something that could be done quick, then we could. I think this can be it. done, done quick. Um, Sheriff, just so you know, there's still probably these things seeking him out. Ooh. So, um, your life might be in danger. <laughs> hmm. They're very strong. When it attacked, did it attack you? No, it came just for him. But like I said, there's that kind of aura around it, and it'll paralyze you. And you look like you're in a position where your heart shouldn't stop. <laughs> he actually does laugh at that. Um, and he goes, um, I appreciate that. I will figure out where we will hold him. Okay. Cool. Cool. I think we should go pick up our dear friend Ash. And while we go over there, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Okay. Um I can't see you free halo. You know Uh you casually you might die alone. Yeah. Yes. Uh also if I'm mispronouncing names, just let me know. Uh Solid. Let me pull up the Twitch, actually. But yeah, so what is, uh, what's the conversation like with, uh, Ruby? Uh, it is, uh, breakfast. Okay. That is, um. Sorry, I'm Capsicar. I forget that I was signed in on me and not on. (laughs) It's all good. Um. I mean, it, like, takes a cell phone now and stuff to log into the Series Play 1 anyway, so. Mm. Um, but, uh, that's a really good question. Because he didn't see the exchange between friends and her, and so, like, I think... I don't know if he's gonna go, like, I was just super old, and I'm gonna do, like, the prove my youth again thing <laughs> like I don't know if he's gonna go for that uh, as these cats like do whatever the fuck they're gonna be doing what? or if he's gonna like <clears throat> he's actually he's he will actually totally come in and mm-hmm. be like I'm gonna cook something for us nice so that she um, doesn't have to cook nice um, uh Ruby is all for that um especially after you uh cleared out her basement <laughs> And, I'm gonna uh, clean out a basement and then also cook food. Yeah, and she goes, "Oh, oh man, Ash, you were looking for a special time tonight, aren't you? <laughs> Cooking for me, cleaning out my downstairs." <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't even—that's too much of a pun. Wowza! All right. Um, Hello. It is a people. day of puns, by the way, people. Free Halo. Oh, you're so, about to get some more. Um, Hell yeah. Day of puns. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to make. He's going to make something. Oh, nice. Um, as, uh, so while you're cooking, um, I think Ruby's just, you know, doing the, she's laying it on hard. Like, she clearly wants a piece of ash. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, in that case, like, if she, yeah, if she's initiating, then he will reciprocate right. in kind. So we walk in, you guys aren't there. Well, you walk in, like, when when she's just, like, you're finishing, uh, cause you, you had to cook, you're hungry, you're eating. Yeah. And it didn't take a terrible amount at the sheriff's office. Mm. So, like, you just got caught blocked, um, by, uh, Franz as he and I feel like Tomas. that's gonna be, like, a continuing look a little blue there ash um and but she might look a little blue (laughs) he's just kind of enjoying one yeah um and ruby goes well there's room for more um looking at franz and tomas i'm 15 (laughs) that's my brother 
Um, but at that moment, as she says, you know, Ash is gonna be like, "What? Don't be close-minded." Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look at you going. It yes, it did escalate quickly. Um, it was supposed this, to. Uh, Ash is obviously like very sarcastic. Sarcasm is written all over. His Bringing face. up incest and underage. Just yeah, great. just hidden all of the all the no no stuff. Uh, Every today. single one. Um, you know, domestic violence as well. Um, we're alleged. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Domestic um, violence. Yeah. Anyway, the door fucking opens as she's you know you kind it, it's kind of obvious that like there was someone like running up last minute and they tried to catch you before you walked in mm. but you walked in and the door closed and then you, they quickly came gotcha. in right after so it wasn't like they were like you know chasing you for a long time they were just like trying to catch up real quick um and in scampers this like three and a half four foot like raven bird human and it's like little claw oh, scratch on the floor yes. um it has a stetson um, it's it. wearing like no clothes except for like a uh, a belt with two little pistols. <laughs> this is why I didn't give the sheriff it because I have this character. Um, and its beak opens and it's you know very clearly like you know mimicking a voice. Mm-hmm. And you're, my mom's hurt. What? Well, you should do something about uh, that. Fuck, is this? So Ash just, like, gets up and, like, out, like, out of sheer and total habit, folds his napkin and puts it on the table. <laughs> like, unthinking, uh-huh. total, yeah, and then, uh... And, uh, Tomas, like, looks, he's right. never seen this thing before. We should do something uh-huh. about that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mom? What? Follow me! So Ash will just, yeah. Well, I guess we're following this... Thank you. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, and Ash like, thanks Ruby for luncheon. It uh, it turns tail, and uh, uh, it's like, I want you to imagine like its feet are moving really fast, but it's physically moving <laughs> pretty slow. Like it's okay. totally inefficient. Um, and it leads you uh, to this small little cottage house. Um, at the um, it's not like the edge of town. But it, it's a little bit of a walk. Um, and it uh, opens the door, um, and it motions you uh, to come inside, and it hurries in. And then Can it immediately turns around. Like, is the, is and the house sees, big enough for all of us to be there? or? Um, yeah, it's just a U2 Tomas Kenku. Where's so, M? Oh, yeah, I forgot to, like, address it. Um, M's scouting around for, uh, out like, the perimeter of the town for undead. We'll say that. Cool. So that's what she's doing. Unicorn. Emma's doing what M does. Yep. Um, cool. And it cool, 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 cool. quickly looks out and uh, tries to see whether or not like you're following. Yeah, the yeah. Inside. yeah, yeah. We're, okay. we're here. As long um, as the house looks big enough from the outside that all, basically if it's only big <laughs> enough for healer person. Yeah. To bring it in the palette. I mean, it's He's pretty. He's out of hands. Um, <laughs> oh, is he? Well, it's me. I guess. Yeah. So. I mean, it's a pretty small house. But yeah. it it could fit all of you. So <coughs> just so me bird. being lazy. Um, this will be the bird here. Um, one second. So one room house. It's this big from here to here. Okay. Okay. Um, and over here is like a big person bed, and then like next to it is like Aww. a little mattress it's like a dog bed and then next to that is like an even smaller what? one what cute right. um are we hmm? in the goldilocks campaign we are in the no. goldilocks campaign we ventured into goldilocks well so the last one was the bad ending to bell where yep. she actually marries Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they tried so, to say no this is the bird we, version we don't know that goldilocks. <laughs> this is the bird version of goldilocks <laughs> Um, so just to describe what's inside, um, so there's a woman laying just pale as anything and motionless on the bed over here, and, uh, there's a small child, um, just kind of, like, kneeling in front and just, like, sitting there and praying, um, at the foot of the bed, and when they see the 
the Kenku immediately runs over and, like, just mm. kind of taps him with uh, its birdie little hands. I know that Kenkus have, like, t- proper hands and talons, but, like, I like them having feathers, so they just kind of <laughs> does that. And uh, the mm-hmm. kid turns around and immediately, he, he, like, in the same exact voice, can you help my mom? And it's about, oh. I, uh... He's um, mimicking his brother's voice. Yep. That's so cute. Um, but yeah, so it, he looks to be around like seven, eight years old, pretty young, old enough to like, you know, be somewhat independent, but definitely not momless. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what you see. All right. Well, I mean, he's Ash is gonna look at Tomas like. This is your wheelhouse, isn't it? Uh, I, I used it all up. Well, let's take a nap, and uh, <laughs> we'll be good as um, good as new. All right, well, I guess I'll roll a medicine check to try and see what's wrong with her. Okay. I mean, I'll do the same. And I'm going to get a nine, so I'm going to fail it. Uh, nine. 18. Good. 15-year-old's got this. I'm going to uh, text did. you. Um, with, you're, like, kind of checking her out. Um, not, not that not way. Not that way. <laughs> um... Um, you know, just, you know, looking for a pulse, all that sort of stuff. Um, but you can't really tell, um, what, oh, sorry, I was, I typed while talking. Um, and you can't really tell, you know, what's harming her. Um, Okay, so just have, like, an obvious, like, gash in the stomach or anything weird like that. You could do an investigation check, maybe. Um, Hey, Tomas, do you want to take this child outside and, you know... Play with them a little bit. Maybe both. Uh, maybe both the kids. Me, yeah, both, both kids. Both kids, probably. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, You're really uh, good with kids. You're way better than either of us. Uh, let me yeah. see if he. Uh... <laughs> he rolled a nine on his medicine check and a one on his insight check. Yeah. He's not taking the hint right now. I, yeah. I, 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 I was, I was a good brother. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. Got me. I, I came out alive. Oh. Okay. Bare minimum. <laughs> okay, I'll... What? No, I, I, Ash was gonna say something unless he's gonna, like, actually take the kids outside. Um, he's... Uh, do, how, how long? Uh, just for a minute? Or... Yeah, how? just just a little... Just, you know... And he goes... So oh. we can get closer to the body and, you know, try to help her. Oh. Uh, and he... Okay, he's gonna, like, re... Yeah, what... He gets it now. And, uh, so... Oh... And uh, he scoops the the kid up in his arms, and he goes, "Hey, let's 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 go outside for a little bit. Let let's let the good, the good men help your mom." Um, As they uh, both said earlier, free free halo, not that way. (laughs) (laughs) Um, God. Um, (laughs) So Tomas takes the child out with him, and uh, the Kanku um, does not go out. I mean, Ash is gonna be like, you should go outside with your brother. Yeah. Your brother needs you. Why? Um. Because you seem pretty young. And, you know. How old are you? Don't know. When were you born? How many summers yeah. have you been alive? Um, yeah, all, all, the, all the winners. <clears throat> well, okay. Franz, why why did you send your bro away? What's up? Well, I didn't send my brother away. I needed to get. She's dead. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> oh, so, been, so been, sad. Because the thing is, like, you were trying to figure out like what harmed her, so I didn't think that you would be, like, be. Able I to mean, tell. I was doing a medicine check. It was a poor but medicine check. It was check. an awful medicine check. It's 100% legit. <laughs> so I get down on my knee and I put my mm-hmm. arms on the Kenku shoulders and I'm like, hey man, mm. I'm really sorry, but your mom's dead. Um, You get like the beady little bird eye and it's like, I know. Okay, so why did you bring us here? I'm confused. Uh... And it's it's thinking it, it has it's like my brother doesn't know. So you want um, us to tell your brother that your mom is dead. Not to sad. Um, okay. Uh, 
uh, what happened to your mom? Um, fight. What better? And uh, it points uh, and goes, man. I'm just like ch choosing rando voices because it can only man. mimic. Was it a dead man? It nods its head. Uh, Did you know the man? Shakes its head. Okay. Um, it's probably gonna burn it. Yeah. It's probably burn it. I'm gonna go talk to the kid. Um, I'm gonna go talk to it's the always kid. Lupus. Um. Yeah, it's always Lupus. She's a leper. Um, as I like, mm -hmm. hey guy. What's your name? Um, God, I came up with a name for the bird, but not the actual human child. Hey, the bird is um, human. True. The bird is way more You still more haven't human. asked for, and just I, I want to reiterate, it's wearing a little belt with two little pistols, and it has a Stetson. So remember that. Um, and, uh, I'll never forget. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I need a picture of this bird now. Um, <laughs> and uh, the kid goes, I'm Rubius. <laughs> hey, Rubius. Um, enjoy that. I, I do. I do deeply enjoy that. Rubius, um, do you know what happened here, Mom? Um, he shakes his head and he goes, um, I was hiding. And then, um, your brother said a man came in and bit your mother. Did you see that? Okay. Did you hear what happened? I I heard lots of fighting. My mom uh, told us to hide, and I hid under the bed, and Yeekaw held hid somewhere else. <laughs> um, Yeekaw! Your oh my god! <laughs> um, your mom. Um, You're welcome. Thank you. Your mom did a very. Unfortunately, your mother is dead. Just blank face. He goes, you couldn't save her? You, when we walked in, she, was, she had already passed. Uh, for him, we are in 5e right now. Yep. Our Bringing main Twitch page still moment. says second ed. Yeah. So Doctors and DMs has had three different campaigns, um, and uh, this is campaign three, yep. and we so we changed from 2e to 5e this time. Yeah. That's quite the jump. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Um, and uh, Rubius, he does like a. He's trying not to cry, but like the bottom of this quiver is. No, it's okay. It's okay. You can cry. And uh, he just buries his face uh, into your stomach because like he's just that short. Mm -hmm. Fine. He can't stop crying. Hand on his head. It's okay. Um, and Tomas uh, is sit standing there quietly. Um, and he's he's st he's watching. Um, and he seems to be in a bit of a, a funk right now, too, seeing that. So while they're doing that, I'm going to attempt to convince Yeekaw. <laughs> um, you don't know his name, though. I don't. I'm gonna, yeah. But, I mean, later. Mm -hmm. so. um, I'm going to try and convince him to leave, because we have to, like, do something with his mom's body. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. Tomas. So we didn't, con we didn't, um, <coughs> so it was three separate campaigns mm -hmm. with three separate DMs. So these characters didn't exist in the no. second ed game. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's just, you know, graduate students, we get <laughs> busy. And so we gotta. Do we now? No. No. Never felt that. Never felt that. Ever. Um, yeah. um, hey, Tomas, can can you start building a pyre? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Um, Rubius, um, this is going to be very hard, um, but we we need to have, you know, a funeral for your mom. Can we bury her next to Dad? Bury your bones. Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we um, 
we're scared that she will turn into the thing that bit her. He, like, that's one thing that makes him stop crying. And he goes, my mom could come back to life? Not, no. No. <laughs> free Halo. I appreciate you, Free Halo. I appreciate you. Don't <laughs> say you want to draw. I love Ooh, that comment. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Bless. Okay. <laughs> but you got to let her come back to life. It's not coming back to life. But you just said she might turn into... I she mean, would she... no longer be your mom. You don't know that. I do. She would try to kill you. Did... I do. Did I... your mom? My mom died. From... From... Uh, a from me. Man? Oh. Um, and oh. He, he stares and you killed your mom? Um, when I was born... Um, When I was born, mm. she couldn't handle me being born. <laughs> um, and so... It went from sweet to, like, my mom couldn't <laughs> handle me. Sorry. Continue on. Continue on. Sorry. Okay. But Franz's like, how do I talk to a child? Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 it makes total sense. Yeah. It makes total sense. Yeah. Like, how does a 15-year-old figure out how to tell an 8-year-old that his mom died in childbirth? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like... Yep. Um, and uh, he shakes his head and he goes, well, my mom. And he goes, I don't want you to be mad at me, but maybe my mom's stronger than your mom. I don't doubt that. Damn. I he doesn't know what to do with that. Like, I don't doubt that. Yeah. Um, but your mom gave her life for you and the Mm -hmm. best thing we can do right now is to make sure that she doesn't turn into into the thing that she was trying to protect you from um he he uh he just kind of sits down like just a plop like his brain it's it's too much for his little brain and his little heart um and he goes I want to go home now um, and then he gets up and walks inside. Okay, so before so, that yes. happens, I'm... We'll say, yeah. like, as he walks inside, that's when we're gonna, like, have your scene. Like, sure. end. Okay, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so he's well, gonna, like, I've been kneel... leaning on the, the fucking <clears throat> punctuation mark this whole time, so <laughs> I just got this whole... Sorry. All right, uh, so, I, <coughs> so I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, kneel down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, like, what's you? <laughs> Sorry, yep. I keep it. I keep like looking over and seeing Ed Free Halo's comments, and I'm yep. like, ah, okay. Um, so what's your name? Yeecaw. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, <laughs> kept composure. It's fine. Well, you know, if we made T-shirts. <laughs> Seriously though, but it, I can't do the the raven call. But it's, it literally goes yee, rawr, you know, like the yeah. Know, no, so, so <laughs> uh, yeah, we got nineteen to like keep composure <laughs> during that moment. Yeah, because this moment's very tense. But I can't keep my Just face like straight. Yeah. What? It's intense. Just like camping. <laughs> Cunny. Um. No, actually, I love puns. Okay. So, <laughs> um, so, if your mom was bit by a dead man, then she might become undead. Undead. And then she would try to kill you and your brother. And then it uh, repeats, undead. Um, In your exact voice. The paladin. Reanimated. Um, her body will move, but her mind won't be there. Okay. So, where we have to have we have to burn her, and then we can bury her in the grave somewhere, wherever. 
Even though a skeleton can still come back. But we're not saying that. <laughs> um, but skeletons are weaker, so. Okay. Okay. You don't have to convince a fucking, like, former bird that, like, it's survival. Like, I learned that, like, a lot of, uh, I mean, they're not so much prey animals, but I know that a lot of prey animals tend to cannibalize the dead so that it doesn't draw predators in. Mm. So, like, it knows this. Oh, right, through. okay. So, like, so, all right, so I have to, so D&D normal and not D&D your world normal. Sorry. D&D standard, all of, uh, all of the, like, they were... They were born this way, and I keep forgetting yeah. that in this world, they, like, have become... Yeah. Yeah, what they are very yeah. recently. Yeah, sorry. All, like... No, it's Zaxi, okay. Zaxi, Kenku, uh, Yeah, Dragonborn. were once, like, animals, and now they are not animals. Or yep. pro- uh, sentient. And, okay, Someone's anyway. watched Supernatural. Yeah, seriously, though. I was like, well, Sam and Dean, <laughs> but... Um, Dad's gone on a camping trip, Sammy. Our <laughs> hunting trip, Sammy. I haven't heard from him in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seasons later. Uh, Fifteen seasons Jesus later. Jesus <laughs> 2005, my friend. Yeah. They're finally ending, though. Anyway, um, so I'm going to pick up... I'm going to take a mom outside. Okay. Um, you have mom in your arms as Rubius comes uh, walking yeah. in. Um, and he'd like literally like stares at you uh, wildly as this hap- as this is happening and he doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, so I mean Ash is picking her up very mm-hmm. ginger like it's not like pet sack potatoes yeah. or anything like you know. That's fine. <coughs> and um <laughs> You're welcome, Brihilo. You are welcome. Um and uh Rubius looks like he wants to say something. Um, but then Yika walks over and just, you know, grabs his hand and kind of leads him inside. Oh. Um, and is, uh, just sitting there. Oh, I don't know. I'm like, hey, Rubius, um, can you take us to your father's grave? Um, and, uh, Rubius, uh, like, he's kind of still out of it. Like, he's not <laughs> crying anymore, but, like... Yeah. He's just, like, you know, thousand-yard stare. Um, and Yika, uh goes, later. Later. Yeah. If you tilt, kill two birds with one stone, going to the fucking cemetery tonight. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether or not I would get to this point with the mom, uh... But, or that you would go t- uh, look for the remains, but as it turns out, you are quite efficient with, <laughs> figure, with, uh, with your quests. Yeah, so we're, uh, I guess we'll just, wherever to, wherever Tomas is setting up mm-hmm. the pyre is where we'll yeah. Yeah. burn it down. So, burn it. Um, so yeah, he sets burn, up... Burn, uh, baby, burn. It ta- I would say like it probably takes him like an hour to like set up a proper... Yeah, I mean, Ash will help. Like, once the body's yeah. out of the house and the kids like have some place yeah. I'm, like, to go... I'm like sitting with you the know. kids. Probably not talking, but I'm just sitting with them. Because mm-hmm. yeah, the 15-year-old doesn't have to do any work. Yeah. Yeah. And here's 15. the... Um... Uh, well, wait, I'll get to you in a second, but, um... You, uh, you and, uh, Tomas, I always fucking called him Tobias, because you called him Tobias. I know, I have literally had to stop myself from calling him Tobias this entire game, and I don't know why. Um, Tomas, uh, there's, like, firewood, um, on the side of the house, and you just kind of, he makes, like, a nice, like, bed on top of some stone, and, you know, a little canopy type thing. Yeah. Um, and he sprinkles some holy water, he's saying prayers, the like, literally the whole time, almost obnoxiously so. Um, but you could tell he's just, like, really trying not to, like, you know, make it so holy that you burn the devil out of her. He's just genuinely upset for this now orphan kid. Um, so, so when in not... doubt, mm-hmm. literally Ash assumes mm-hmm. that Tomas is very sincere in anything that he is doing. Because mm-hmm. Toma- Toma- Tomias, <laughs> Tom- <laughs> that's yes. what we're going to do. Yep. Uh, because that's just who Tomas is. Yeah, and you also have your insight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, After a little while, while you're sitting there, uh, like the the, it's like nothing at first. um, But then the Kenku just starts singing in a woman's voice. 
Yeah. Um, and you could probably guess it's like a lullaby oh. um, that the mom used to sing. How was Ruby's um, reacting to that? Um, he's been c- crying quietly, um, and now, like, it, it kind of increases at first, but then, like, he's, like, finally soothing himself to sleep, so. Um. Hey, ye call. <laughs> uh, it looks, it's still singing, um, and, like, it's, like, nodding towards, uh, uh, Rubius, like, wait a second, you know, I'm doing something here. <laughs> you impatient son of a bitch. Um, and finally Rubius, uh, falls asleep and, uh, Yeekaw stops singing. <coughs> hey, Yeekaw. Do you have any family in town? Um. Um, and he gestures to, uh, Rubius. Um, and actually at one point, <laughs> no one can serve. Hmm? The Predator. Jesus. Um, yeah. Um, so pretty much, uh, what's his face? Yeekaw opens up his beak. And you can tell, like, the the two of them spent a lot of time together. And, like, they anticipated, like, this sort of thing when they, you know, it's a bird playing with an eight-year-old. So in Rubius's voice, um, you hear the Kenku go, Well, so Yeekaw used to be a bird that flew all the time to us, he would visit us every day, and he would bring uh, me and my mom little uh, gold pieces and shiny things. And really one cute. day, he 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 didn't have to fly. He just walked up with stuff, and he didn't know what to do. He didn't have a home, so he where his home now. No. And then, um, can we hear the song from inside, from outside? Um, do a perception check. Uh, 16. Yeah, I think you would hear some singing. Like, very faintly. Um, I turned to the boat. Hmm? Do I know the tune? Oh, you know what? I would say it's a very common, uh, like, lullaby. Okay. You know, like, rock by baby. Right. You know, or you are my sunshine. Ye okay. old, you are my sunshine. <laughs> okay. Thy art my sunshine. <laughs> Thou art my sunshine. <laughs> Mine only sunshine. Yeah. So yes, imagine when that. Cloud stops gray. <laughs> um, this is what <laughs> happens when you get academics in a room. Yeah. <laughs> that right there. Okay. We sing it sure, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. But in old English. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm assuming the pyre is pretty much ready at this point. Hmm. And I turn to Yika and I'm like, should we wake him up? Um, Yika looks down, um, and then shakes his head. Do you want to come up here? Um, he pauses and he's torn between staying with Rubius, um, and, uh, he, uh, goes, carry <coughs> carefully? And... No, it's because he can't really lift him up. So I, um, like, Rubius, and was like... Okay, do a uh, sleight of hand check. That's going to be very high. Um, it's going to be a 23. Okay, you do Rose. not... Yeah. You do not wake him. So pretty much he call, like, he, wa- he wants to keep an eye on Rubius, yeah. but he doesn't think that having him awake to watch his mother be burned. Mm-hmm. Um, like, even saying goodbye might be a bit much yeah. uh, for him. So maybe, like, when you bury her remains, then that would be a good time, but not the (laughs) funeral pyre. Yika, would you like to say anything before we begin? Um, and he looks confused, because he's never seen, like, a human ritual, like, it's... It's what we do. It's, um, you say some nice words. Um, oh, man. Uh, he kind of walks over, uh, to, I imagine at this point she's like laid on the pyre. There's flowers. He does yeah. like a very nice job, and uh, Yika just sits there for a while and looks at it, and then like in the mom's voice, you just hear him go, "I love you lots," and Aww. then he walks back. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't, sorry. <laughs> Tomas, uh, he uh-huh. has I imagine a particular religion or whatever. 
or uh, God or yes. like the prayers he was doing for was from a singular religious whatever. Yeah. Um, can I? I want to play like a funeral song mm. from that general. What do you think, uh, Tomas? Here probably. Okay. Makes enough sense. Yeah. Um. So yeah. What What did I What hot gossip did I miss? No. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Um, yeah. So, so, uh, Solid. Do you want me to roll for it or whatever? Um, yeah, do a performance check. Um, uh, 24. Okay, and what are you playing it on? Probably my pan flute. Nice. Which that is controls like, animals? No. <laughs> no, he, that's his main instrument. Oh, okay. Anyway, is a pan flute. Heartstrings um, pulled with advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, and uh, Tomas uh, is surprised that you know that, but I guess since you went to bard school, you would have like known some of like the major hymns and stuff. I mean, he's good um, at his job. He just yeah, doesn't no. do it with them very often. <laughs> right. He j- but he like Tomas never saw you really do bard stuff. Um, yeah. So like he's seen you cast magic, but he doesn't really understand that it comes from. True. Yeah. I mean. So. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't do a whole lot of bard stuff. Yeah. A whole lot. So, um, he looks surprised, um, and then you hear him, like, quiet. Like, it's almost like he doesn't realize that he's singing along with you. Um, totally. But it, you've, you've moved him into singing. Cool. Um, and, like, when, um, like, after you do, uh, like, one or two bars, uh, not bars, verses, uh, mm. on the chorus, uh, Yeekaw joins you, um, and he is trying to harmonize, but mm. he can't inflect his voice. Um, so then he just goes right back to, you know, alternating between you and Tomas's voice. Okay. As the fire burns. Burn, make it burn. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did anyone take any damage out of the, like, three of us in that actual one? No, just Lloyd. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just Lloyd, okay. Um, Cause like like I have the uh, I'm assuming we're whatever just thing. sitting there and we're mm-hmm. watching it. And besides the singing, we're probably just quiet. Mm-hmm. I have song of rest. There we go. That's the uh, that'll be mm-hmm. um, Can you heal emotional damage? <laughs> um, that's up to the DM. You know what? That's totally would, up to the DM. Um, I would say that it definitely calms uh, the Kenku. If you, like, and I'm counting that as, like, a song of rest, where, like, you know, I think that it has, like, I mean, as a bird, like, it's dealt with killing its prey, and mm-hmm. it's kind of just, like, a natural thing, right. but after being adopted by the family, after having a wider scope of emotions, like, mm-hmm. it's still hurt, but it's definitely handling it a lot better than a child would. Mm-hmm. Well, right, I mean, um, it's a lot older in the idea of, like, maturity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's still, it's upset. Right. Um, but the song of rest kind of like calms it down, and it almost understands like, oh, so this is why humans have these rituals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is the fire out? Uh, yeah. So it burns out, and there is nothing but charred remains. Okay, you'll take those charred remains. It's time to go to the <clears throat> where your father. Mm. Um, the let let's. Pause for a second because mm. I don't I don't want the kid to wake up to like just burn bomb. Uh, yeah. so. I'm assuming he's still asleep. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh no. Wow. Rough. Oh. Um. So. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah. For people listening to the podcast, Chad is just going ham right now. Yeah. It's no free so this, uh, content. Is this, yes, this person free Halo. Awesome. Yep. Love it. So we also turn. So so you know, uh, mm-hmm. we do turn this into like a podcast, which is why Kelly is mentioning that right now. Yeah. Um. So that her podcast viewers understand where we're just like <laughs> yeah, we're randomly just... inputting things that don't make any sense if you're yeah. only listening to it. Like podcasters. Yeah. Um, Free Halo just said, burn baby burn, Kenku Inferno, now KFC. Yes. Yeah. Exclamation point. <laughs> um, the Kenku uh, goes into the house and he pulls out um, like kind of just like a, uh, a big chest that like it's just, he just <clears> like <throat> toss stuff out. They probably like held like clothes and stuff like that. Um, and he figures, like, this is a good thing to carry her in now. 
Yep. You're able to. You have shovel. Sure. <laughs> what? Oh my god. We have to dig a grave. You're true. That's true. You're right. <laughs> I just. What did you say? Is you there a shovel? a shovel? Oh. Oh yeah, definitely. Like this is like a. So, first thing I thought of was like shoveling remains out into. Like that. Oh. That was everything. That's just more about you like, than me. <laughs> yeah. Not like, yeah. yeah. Uh, never said I was a good guy. Solid. It's fine. We're not either, so. It's yep. Cool. I'm not even a guy. Um, so, uh, yeah, you get her into guy, the pal. trunk. Um, you get her into the trunk, and uh, uh, Rubius is just uh, waking up now, and he looks um, at the thing, um, and he, it's very obviously burned and he's uh he's crying quietly again um but not saying anything okay rubius it's time to go put your mom to rest and he goes uh, can can i help yeah absolutely and uh he uh runs over to the house and um he changes like he's like in like kind of play clothes but then mm. there's some very obvious farming clothes that he puts on and he has a little cap um and gloves and then it, like so there's like the adult shovel and then there's like the little like thing that you would use for gardening mm-hmm. and he pulls that thing. Oh. Hey, Ruby, is there anything you would like to put with your mom um anything she would like to take the entire bed she died in <laughs> <laughs> um no he uh hurries out um uh back into the house and then he's like kind of awkwardly holding something in his hands um and uh he goes okay okay keep it keep it close yeah so i guess we'll get her into the chest somehow and then we're in the house while you guys are doing this yeah Yeah, i'm gonna say you're able to uh get her in the chest um Tomas uh, is strong enough to single-handedly carry her. He just is like, okay. This um, is my life now. Yep. And uh, you, you were already given the coordinates of, or the location of the graveyard. Um, and Rubius, uh, you know, this is like an every Sunday thing, so he's just walking. Um, he's, uh, he's walking with purpose now only because he has a purpose. Like, he's mm. still, you could tell, like, he's, like, one comment away from breaking down again, but right now he's focused on, I have a task, I have to bury mom. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he leads you to, um, his dad. It's his grave, and there's a nice little plot right next to it. Is it already dug up? No. Cool. Why? Oh. Well, this, I guess we're digging. Okay. Um... So he's he's looking around and he, like he can't hold what he's holding and shovel at the same time. I'm just like oh. it's okay, I got it. Okay. Uh, so while they're like as as uh, Ash is picking up the shovel, he's gonna be like, I can put it in one of my pockets if you want to help shovel. Otherwise, you keep it and stay there. I want to help shovel. All right, so he's gonna like. Take one of his pockets that's like uh-huh. a normal pocket uh-huh. <laughs> and open it. And uh, he uh, puts his hands in and yeah. he goes, keep it closed. And then he, and, he yeah, likes and to he'll escape. like button it and like pat, pat it. Okay. Um, make a, oh, you are very, uh, oh, one second. Your players are awesome. My players seem to go through fits of random NPC cleansing. <laughs> if the NPC is shady even a little, all my towns and cities have to have very good okay, security. So now. we can talk, so we have this last half hour of the game where we like talk about stuff. We will talk about how the last game, yeah. we just murdered some people. So right yes. now, because we're dealing with like little kids and shit, we're not murdering We them. didn't kill Lloyd. Yeah. We didn't kill him. Yeah. That's but true. yeah, we, didn't we kill will uh, talk, speak to that more, and if you have any questions in that last last half hour, that is yeah. like what we dedicated to. Yep. yep. Um, <laughs> so, um, what's your passive perception? My passive perception is sixteen. Okay, there's something like little just kind of bouncing around in your pocket, um, and he like alive, like like oh my god, okay. And, uh, well, it's it's he, he's just shut. Thinking... It's so uh, he's not looking. Yeah. Ash is. Uh, yeah, no, he's not looking. Okay. Um, and, like, he's not helping out that much, but he feels like yeah, he's, he's helping. He's he's that's not... the point, is that yes. he feels like he's helping. Whether or not he's actually helping doesn't yep. actually matter. Yeah. Yep. Because you can't, with a garden, 
gardening. Yeah. They, um, they can smooth out the edges. Trowel. There we <laughs> yeah. go. I was looking for that word. With a trowel, you can't do much digging. Yeah. So um, after about like an hour of three of you digging, yeah. you finally have a nice... Man, if we had bogs here, it would have been a half yeah. second. Yeah, move earth. <laughs> Five foot cube, done. Boom. <laughs> And I imagine we put the Ryan, Where the fuck is that? Where are yeah, you? Yeah, actually, wouldn't druids make the best, like, gravekeepers? Because all they Seriously, have to do is... Yeah. Whoop. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I imagine we put the trunk in mm-hmm. the grave. Um, and I say... And, uh, oh, go ahead. Rubius, um, do you want to put your thing in now? Okay, all right, so, he's... like, he's just going to open up a pocket. Uh-huh. Um, let's see if he can make a slide of... Oh. Um... Out jumps a little frog, and he tries to catch it, but Can the I make frog. A deck save? Yeah, cause uh, the frog beat the. Uh, what is it? What is, yeah, uh, can I use acrobatics? Uh, just sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Yeah. Oh, that's great, cause that's a fifteen. Okay. Uh, he like tra- grabs for the frog, but you go. Yeah. It's a very very tiny small frog. All um, right, so he's gonna like take both of his hands. Uh huh. He's gonna like. He's going to think very seriously <laughs> about asking why he wants to bury this frog with his mom, but is not, and is just going to hand him the frog. Mm-hmm. And, um, he, you know, uh, he's walking, he goes, keep my mom company. And, uh, Aww. drops him in, and Tomas, like, his eyes go wide when the frog drops in. I put my, I put my hand on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, so like, all, the, all the adults are staring at, at Tomas, like, just let it happen. And he goes... Like, he he just needs to ask. And he's like... And I just put my hand on his mouth. Can you... And I hand him something like, hey, we need to start, you know... And he very stiffly... (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So as as Tomas starts that, Uh um, I, like, Ash is going to (coughs) start singing the lullaby. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, As they're, like, shuffling, because he can't use his instrument at the same time, so he's just going to shuffle and mm-hmm. sing the lullaby. Um, he's, uh, the kid's, uh, crying he's a, very a little, good job. but he's, you know, using his trowel to... 27. Nice. And, yeah. uh, Yeekaw joins in. Um, I'll never not smile when I say his name. Yeekaw! Uh, yep. I love it. And, uh... So, yeah, you have a very nice burial. Yeah, I mean, Ash might take the spell dig next time, specifically yeah. because of this experience. More bodies. <laughs> like, You're yeah. going to be finding lots of undead stuff. Yeah, um, that's so great. much burial. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming as we get close to finishing, um, mm-hmm. we'll pat yep. the soil, put like, I don't know, makeshift um, gravestone. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Rubius, um... <coughs> sorry. We're going to have to start heading back to town now, but is there any last words you'd like to say? Um, and he looks, um, at the grave, and, um, he shakes his head, and he goes, I want to wait until I'm alone. I understand. We've got another grave to check out while we're here anyway. <laughs> well, we have to deal with these kids. <laughs> well, we can just leave them right here for a minute. <laughs> Hey, Tomas. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Tomas goes, watch the kids. Yeah, I got it. Um, yeah. I mean, if you want to give them, like, some space, that's totally cool, but, you, you, you know. <laughs> and, uh, he, uh... Hands, <laughs> he doesn't know anything about children. Hands the shovel to, uh, you. Uh, yeah. the one that he used since you are going to need to, uh, dig up some bodies. Yeah. Okay. Are we out of, like, sight when we move towards Yeah, I was gonna thing? say, like, thank you don't have to worry god. about them seeing. Oh, thank god. Yeah, that would be awkward. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know. It's behind the giant oak tree. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So we're <coughs> to, uh, the grave. Okay. Um, the father-daughter grave. Mm-hmm. Um, so, there are bodies in both of them. Like, they're already open? Oh, no, no, like, I'm just gonna say, you, you, un- you said you wanted to dig them up, you dug them up, they're there. Uh, 
Yes, Yes, free Halo. Exactly. Hey, man, a frog would be pretty good company in the afterlife. I don't want it. I mean, I don't think that Rubius understands that he's sentencing the frog to No, that is why... When Tomas was gonna talk at all, we were both like, I love the collective. Um, but yeah. Um, what do I notice about um the daughter? Sure. Uh, do a God. I think it would be a nature check at this point because it's like a decomposed body. Nineteen. Okay. Oh, nine. <laughs> okay. You're like, yep, it's a body. It's a body. It smells bad. Um, there's some, like, hair left. Uh, there's, like, it's mostly decomposed. I mean, there's still, like, leathery skin, but it's... Yeah. What I want to look but. for, because I know she drowned, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but was there any sign of, like, bruise or assault um, on the body? I think it's too decomposed to tell. Okay. It, but with your 19... Um, like, it looks like it, you know, this looks like a body should be after a year underground. Oh, uh, it's been a year! Uh, well, I didn't know yeah. So. This is the first uh, time gentle repose maybe... would have been, like, actually good to have. Fuck! <laughs> like, it, it almost never comes up. <coughs> it almost never comes up, ever, but gentle repose would be perfect for this. Anyway, What's yeah. that? It's a spell that allows you to, um, basically make a like body... Like Sherlock it, then... I mean, like, yeah, it, like, it, like, um, I don't, I don't, how do you even explain that? It, like, doesn't bring it back to life, but, like, it makes it look like she was alive. Like, oh. like when she died, yeah. it makes the body look like when she died. Okay. Yeah, um, it's, uh... Um... Well, actually, it. no, it only works, um... It only works to protect it from decay. So if it's already okay. decayed. Oh, okay, gotcha. And it gotcha. can't become undead. Um, oh. Well, that would have been great for the mom. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. See, yeah. Anyway. It's so rare. It's so rare that that spell yeah. ever comes up, but yeah. And it's funny enough, it's a necromancy spell. Right, yeah. Anyway, yeah. sorry. We're... It's all good. Um, so, yeah, it looks to be about a year, not, no more than a year, cool. but close to a year. Um, Is she buried with anything? Um... Some books. No, oh, yeah, that makes sense. The they public, I'm the just they're they're, uh, they're book. fiction books. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, and some of them are like uh, you know, she she was like trying to like educate herself about like math and some science to understand, but like it's she's trying to understand the fictional world. She didn't really care about math or science for math or science's sake, but like they mentioned something in this cool book, and she really liked that character. So now she's looking at the stuff about it. Do I see an engagement ring? Right? You do not. I found the answer to that question there, Ashy. Yeah. Um, Did we not know? We did know. I mean, we knew, though. We knew, but Thank we... you for the cheer, Free Halo, by we the really way. We really appreciate it. Thank you. That is literally our very first one ever, because Yay. we just, uh, we just, like, actually accepted affiliate. Um, and mm-hmm. so, that means a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We are here. I was like, all of a sudden, like, there's something moving down there. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a cheer. Yes. Cool. Um, Every Monday. Every well, Monday, yeah. Until the fall. <laughs> um, yeah, new, new time after that. Every point. Monday for four more weeks. Yep. Let's <laughs> not. So before the... No. <laughs> yes. Well, don't look at chat. I'm about to type something in chat. <laughs> well, it's literally the biggest thing on the screen. On the giant... Oh, don't the look, because I just sent it. Uh, you're looking. We... Where else are we gonna look? I don't know. Maybe your character sheets at. We're gonna have to read it eventually. Like, shh. I mean, no meta gaming. Um, I try anyway. not. I don't. I'm, honestly, I don't even really know what that means. Um, it's all good. So I'm glad that you don't know what that means. But anyway. Anyways. Um. um oh, I mean, but that's what I thought. Yeah. I just, just in case it wasn't 100 percent certain. What's going on with the Faja? Uh, he is a little f- fresher. Um, okay. Probably about, like, four or five months fresher. Do I get a sense of how he died? Oh, no. Dude, you're so... So, like, we live... This is a stream through a university, and we don't even know if we can spend our money yet, so don't... Mm. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't, literally, don't worry about it. Though, if we could spend our money, 
managers. Mm. Seriously, we just need to. Uh, we have a friend that will paint them. We just need to get them so mm. he'll paint them. Nice. Good to know for the future. Yeah. Thanks, man. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, <coughs> yeah, a little pressure. Um, no. I he died. Um, from it looks you can see a lot of br- like yeah 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 he hung himself. Cool, cool, cool. Fun times, God. Okay. Um, anything else in the coffin? Um. Yeah, is this uh, like is there necromancy? <laughs> no, but there's a picture, uh, like it, a framed drawing, um, of a baby. Oh God, is man. It, is there like a name? Just every on it? It I should a, just sorry. start playing heartstrings because that's yep. what this game is. Jesus. Yep. Um. It's a. Uh, it has. A, it just says uh, Leora on it, so it's. The daughter. I think this is the DM trying to say, like, fuck you and your jokes. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, it's a sad story. Um, it is, yeah. Okay, so I put everything back, and I'm like, I look at both of them, like, I'm really sorry for, I think, desecrating your graves, but, uh, you know. Had to be sure. Had to do some murder mystery I, I don't shit. know. Like, what, how do you even tell? If, how do we even know? Well, we know that. The father is not a necromancer seeking revenge on the... Someone is. Yeah, someone is. Someone is, but it's not the father. <laughs> All right. So we've got that. That's confirmed. I hope you guys, if you somehow, through some other means, are watching this, understand what we just had to do, mm. and I'm respectfully trying yeah. <laughs> to put the dirt back in. Oh, no, no, no. Many addiction is way more expensive. I haven't gotten mini addicted yet. Mini addiction, that would <coughs> literally break your bank. Mm-hmm. I have a friend who lit- like just dropped six hundred dollars while he was up here with me. Oh my god! Because they were having a sale, and, and he was sales. like, "This is cheap." And I was like, "You just spent six hundred dollars." What the fuck? So no, I will take my hardcore dice addiction. <laughs> I need to buy really shitty dice. What? Yes, you do! <laughs> yes, you do! Okay, so he DMs for me uh-huh. and some other friends in a different game. Bitch got like eight nat 20s last game. Yeah. And it was awful! And it, like, died. I was like, um, one, one of my NPCs killed the NPC ranger that you're traveling with, and on a roll out of three attacks, rolled two nat 20s. Yeah, and then rolled two nat 20s the next roll, yep. and then rolled another nat 20 the roll after that. <laughs> like, it was to the point that you were like, oh my god, someone needs to look at this so that everyone knows I'm not lying right now. <laughs> like, if I am not manufacturing a TPK, the dice are deemed you guys should not be alive. Um, Anyways, distractions. Yeah. Okay, so everything's back prim and proper. Mm. With some grass seed and fertilizer. <laughs> Seriously, that takes though. more work than you think. Oh, I know. It does. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, cool. I don't have anything for that. Again, yeah. if Boggs was here, yeah. Ryan, looking at you right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, we, we've done this. Mm-hmm. Does prestidigitation work on graves? Like, ground? Uh, no. Uh, no. Not, 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 we can mine our own. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no good way. There's no good way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. But it's cool. Mm. It's only sensory, so... Um... But we can instantane- instantaneously clean or soil an object. Hey! I would, <laughs> I would allow that, but you all don't have a digitation. Um, Prestidigitator. Yep. Okay, we'll go, okay, okay. But does prestidigitation let me refill a grave because it's soiling it? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, that wait. was the joke. Yeah. One Even cubic, though, like, for real. One like, foot's it, worth of... One cubic foot at yeah. a time. Um, cool. Um, so I'm just going to walk back to Tomas and mm. be like, okay, guys, um, we're going to have to go into town now. Uh, Tomas nods. At this point, like, he's holding the, uh, the kid, like, just, like, up against him, mm. uh, walking around. Um, while the Kenku is, like, following and singing. Um, and, uh, they turn and, uh... Thanks, oh, thank you. You're, that's amazing. You are amazing, and I appreciate you. Yeah. Um... Appreciate it. What was I gonna say? Um, 
yeah, so Tomas is carrying uh, Rubius <coughs> back to town. Um, and he looks to you, he goes, uh, so what, what, what's the plans? Um, we can go to the sheriff or we can go to, um, our dear friend, and I look at you, Ruby. I mean, I think we should stop, uh, we should, we should take these kids to the sheriff, he's gonna know mm-hmm. what to do with them. Yeah, but I also want the sitcom spinoff. Where Ruby's raising. Dude, we have so uh, many sitcoms. I have <laughs> of all of the like of just I have so to many stop children. Giving you children. You do because like this is but like they're so cute. They to, like, are no, they are so with. cute, and they make our players better people. That's why that's <laughs> because we're actually we're you very murdered bad people. Twelve-year-old Kelly's character that I brought back for this campaign. But you made him an asshole. I did. <laughs> you, did. you made him an asshole. You made him a Nazi. <laughs> you literally made him a Nazi. I'm sorry. But like in my real life, no, no. I can't punch Nazis. In my fake life, I can kill them. Yo, <laughs> I'm not blaming you. I'm just reminding you that what hap- what happens when I give like morally ambiguous characters? Nope, there's no, no ambiguity no, 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 there. No, no, there are some ambiguous am- ambiguous characters because oh, y'all yeah. killed Edward. Session one. Okay. I, I wasn't even there. Yeah. I was yeah, not, not even there. there. And that was, yeah, that was Mags, who, by True. the way, now gets all angry at us. We can literally anyone. Yeah. It can literally be anyone. It's like, it's cool that we murdered all of these people over here because I wasn't there to see it. But if I'm there to see it, then it's the most awful thing ever. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's, it, it adds so yeah. much flavor. So much but flavor. Yeah, no, no. Yes. But Darius was deserves ambiguous. to die. Darius yeah. was Mangala. I, <laughs> I agree. It was Mangala. But I never know whenever I throw... Like, you were you were gonna sever Lucky's hands. Okay, I still stand by that as Franz. And it was just gonna be one hand. And now Lucky's helping you out. I know, it was super... Overthrow. He had a nice little redemption arc. I want you to know that in oh. order to, like... We, like, literally... We just have to adopt all the NPCs. Yeah. Like, that's the only way. Oh, it's fine. It's cool. So we, we make lasting to... relationships. Yeah. We have a network across the country. It's great. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, Ruby's are the sheriffs for uh, the kid in My this sitcom in me wants me to see the spinoff where Ruby taking him to the sheriff. <laughs> two kids, one of which is a fucking Kenku. Oh, yeah, right. I love sheriff. that you're bringing him to the sheriffs with um, Lloyd and a bunch of zombies. Yeah, you know. The zombies are dead. True. Yeah. And we're, we're going to put the sheriff, like, outside. outside. I know, but... <laughs> so we're, like, knock on the door, like, yo. Uh, and the sheriff uh, kind of ambles out, and he goes, oh, I'm happy to see you. Uh, oh, you, you, need, you need a bath. Yes, I do. Um, I'm going to go to Ruby's after this. She'll clean me up, right? Um... Oh, I hate <laughs> Ash, Ash is just looking at you like, oh, God. I think I stand a chance. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then I'm like, well, we have a situation. Um, these kids need a good home. Their mother's okay. has passed. Oh, oh. Do you know these children? Yes, yes. Um, and you know what we call? What? <laughs> I love Yeekaw. Oh. He's, he's my little, and he ruffles his feathers. Honorary deputy. Oh. I give him a fist bump. Oh my god! <laughs> I get it now! <laughs> That's so cute. Yup. Um, so... I'm in love with this Kenku. Me too. My favorite <laughs> characters are Kenkus. Um, I but, can see uh, that. Yep. So, uh, he goes, uh, the, the town is a bit of a mess right now, but I'll find him a good home and, uh... I think Ruby has room. That? And, uh, he (laughs) runs inside. Ruby is terrible with children. Um, he runs inside and, uh, he gets some gold out and, uh, he hands you the gold and he goes, uh, this should... Uh, put them up for a few nights. Um, I'll check in with them on the daily. Um, but they should stay at the tavern. Um, and when I find a place they can stay, we'll put them there. I turn to Yikoff. You ready for some damn good French toast? 
End scene. No, I'm kidding. Um, I mean, that's a perfect place to end. If we want to, I mean, we have a couple minutes left, but otherwise, um... I mean, the only thing we'll be playing out is taking them to Ruby. Like, hey, Ruby! You're in charge of some kids for a while. Yeah, we'll just, we'll start, since we got yeah. chat, we'll, we could talk more, so I'd rather interact with people than, uh... Yeah. So, yeah. cool, so, um... Yeah, right Alright, so this is... I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, alright, cool. Um, had a player playing a Drew's ripoff, except he was actually evil. Yes, he murdered people, stole things, did horrible things. However, no one caught him in a year of actual playtime. Yeah. I no. love that stuff. Yep. Yep. I... I don't know, I had a character that was so evil. Mm-hmm. So evil. She mm-hmm. created a cult and slowly turned the rest of her party yeah. evil. And that was <coughs> fucking phenomenal. Uh, um, but yeah, so we this talked about NPC cleansing. Yeah, yeah, so this this group, mm-hmm. it's really fifty fifty. So on yeah. the one hand, we have M, who's not here today. Uh, yep. Played by Eric. Played by Eric, and M. I don't even know how to explain M. She she doesn't is, like it yeah. when people are like being murdered in front of her, but is also fine. If things are, like, just on the edge of this is probably self-defense, but maybe not. Yeah. Um, and then we have Franz, who's just, like, murder. Mm. It's fine. And then I, as Ash, am, like, somewhere between chaotic neutral... Somewhere between chaotic neutral and neutral go... Mm. Mm. <laughs> who knows? I'm I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to... Uh, <laughs> Hard no, over alignments. Yeah, no. We're, yeah, the, the alignment's really more for myself than it is anything mm. else. But And Ash will go one way or the other depending on kind of like what makes most sense yeah. <laughs> to him in the moment. Um, yeah. Like he'll side with M or he'll side more often than not with Franz. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we tend to adopt a lot of NPCs. Yeah. Uh, we adopted Lucky. Yeah. Uh, I think Lucky's one of my favorites. Yeah, uh, for sure. We couldn't adopt Mangala. No. No, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. We tried to adopt the uh, Inquis- Inquisition Mage last yeah. time, but then she was like, I don't want to have anything to do with you people. She mean. walked away. She, mean, like she, yeah, she, was, she was mean. For uh, now was another fan favorite. For now. For now. Oh, yeah, like they adopted an entire clan of, of like... Of Dragonborn. Of Dragonborn for a while and followed them around, which is when I like I came yeah. in halfway through like halfway yeah. through that yeah. story arc. For now an ace. Yeah, yeah. For now an ace. And the rogue dude, old Warren. prison man, Warren. Yeah. Um, Warren. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess we go back and forth between like... Kind of murder hobo and. Like, I don't think we've ever been straight up murder yeah. hobo. I think that. Because you have derailed my plans for combat plenty of times. That's true. We do do that too. Yeah. I think like murder hobo is like no regard for the NPC or interacting with the NPC. Yeah. Whereas That's with true. Darius, like we had a lot of meaningful interaction. It mm-hmm. was just out of the interaction we decided to murder them. Whereas I feel like murder hobos don't even get to that get point. to that point. No, that's true. Um, that's fair. That's how I would differentiate. Like if, like I think even if like we had meaningful interaction with NPCs and then we still killed them all, mm-hmm. it would still be a little bit different than what a stereotypical murder hobo is. Yeah. No, that's totally fair. Oh, like your of evil character to good campaign is. And right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, like, the thing is, is you can never, like... I play a lot of neutral characters. Yeah. Um, I think chaotic neutral, if you were, like, pull people, would probably be the most popular, or one of the most popular alignments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my... I really try... Like, the reason why I play neutral, particularly in campaigns where we have DMs that are, like, alignment strict... Mm-hmm. Um, is because I like to be able to act how my character would act mm-hmm. yeah. um, when it's possible. Because sometimes it's sometimes for like party benefit, you just kind of like go against kind of maybe what your character would actually do. Yeah. But for the most part, I like to be able to play like okay, my character has reasons for this, but it doesn't fall into good or evil, yep. mm-hmm. or would fall maybe into good or into evil, but they do both of them. Mm-hmm. And I think um, one great thing about Five E is that alignment is just flavor text. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's nothing there's nothing gained. There's Actually, any mechanics tied yeah, to it. There's no <laughs> mechanics tied to it except for with the DM rules. Right. Mm-hmm. Um 
that being said, yeah, good and evil are very restricting. Like, you are making a very conscious choice to play a character in a particular way, whereas neutral is, like, you kind of get to do whatever you want. Now, mm-hmm. some DMs, and I've heard of some DMs, be like, oh, if you're going to consistently be making good, lawful good choices as a neutral character, you can no longer be neutral because your actions are saying otherwise. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you've decided to become a good person. Um but alignment again doesn't really mean yeah. much, or it's just it just makes it feel like your character is beholden to some force that that doesn't make yeah. any sense. I think that's also my problem with yeah. alignment is that you're you end up you end up like okay, I have to make the good decision mm-hmm. when your character wouldn't necessarily make the good decision because I'm not logical or whatever, mm-hmm. um, or their feelings are just so strong one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Um, in the other campaign, I'm now moving from monk to paladin because. Because I threw I, a bunch of dead children at you. Because, yeah, because uh, he threw a bunch of dead children at me, and uh, I am now down going down the path of vengeance. Nice. Um, so, I think it's important mm-hmm. to, like, do... Like, if you if you actually make a character... Your actions are never random if you actually make a person... Yep, yeah. yeah. ...as a character. It's, the, it's those who do not choose to make a full person that is just like, oh, I'm gonna... Be that douche that just does everything that the party doesn't want to do, or like purposefully like mm-hmm. just make everything harder. Mm-hmm. Um, players walk into a town. Paladin wants info, finds hopeful bullies, and threatens hobo Shit. guards. Come on. Arrest, Come players. arrest players. Do not save him. He was murder hobo, and people had enough. That was a kid's game. I was running for flavor. He was not a kid. 18, the rest were 8 to 15. Interesting. Oof. Yeah. You were saying yesterday, because we, uh, we do a session uh, the day before this, mm. um, you were in campaign for a couple kids, right? Yeah, so I run a campaign, a semi-campaign, it's whenever they have time. You just will, uh, play people. Whenever their dad drops them off. Mm-hmm. Um, it is like a, I guess they keep the same characters and stuff, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a 10, 11, okay, it's a 11, 12, and 17. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which is hard to balance. Yeah. Um, because the eleven-year-old is still very much in this like. Things get scary. Mm. Right. Like mm. she's like, okay, I want there to be tension, but I have to put it on the table. Like, okay, if if things get too graphic or like you get too scared, like I just need you to tell me and I'll back mm. off and it's fine. Yeah. But then also trying to like keep it interesting for the seventeen-year-old, who yeah. you know. Is a total nerd and mm-hmm. kind of lover of horror, and so like you have to mm-hmm. like yeah. balance between that stuff. But yeah, I do love some kind of like it. It really has to do with the players more than the characters' alignment. Mm-hmm. Where like one of my favorite moments from today was like Tomas is like you're gonna kill a frog, and then the two people are like shh, you know, like like for the kids' benefit, yeah. like so yes, the the frog yeah. is dying, but we cannot tell the kid that the frog is dying because if tell the kid the frog is dying it's just yeah. going to traumatize him more than he already has been so like it is it. It's still in like quote unquote good to like be like fuck like yeah. I can't do it I want to but I can't mm-hmm. I think and that's like just, one of those like differences yeah. between like lawful good and like neutral good mm-hmm. um where I feel like the lawful good character would be like letter of the law you're gonna kill a frog, whereas Mr. Goes like actually for the good of the child, yeah. maybe I should just keep my mouth right. Shut. And I, I feel like that's that's like one of those times where it's like, is killing a frog good? No. Is re- like continuing to traumatize a child good? Also, no. Yeah. yeah. So how like which way do you fall? Yeah. On that, you know. Yeah. I think paying attention to alignment can be a good thing mm-hmm. if you are looking for guidance. If you're looking mm-hmm. for ways, like, the discussion we just had about the frog and the kid. Right. I think that's a great way to parse between neutral and lawful. Right. Um, and I think that's a good way for players to, like, look at, like, you know what? Maybe in this moment my character, because they are, cons- they could think of themselves as a lawful person, yeah. would make this choice. Right. And, I like, I always thought I'd like to start out with an idea of the alignment I think my character is going to have. Yeah. And then I like to see where I actually fall mm-hmm. a few sessions in. And then I like to use it as, like, benchmarks. Like, Mm -hmm. so what would I consider my character's alignment now? And it helps me conceive of how they have changed or grown or, like, come into their own or whatever um, as the stories go on. But 
Yeah, like, I'm curious where Franz is going to go. So I put him as chaotic neutral, because I think he does act chaotically and rather neutrally. Um, but because he's 15. <laughs> right. Um, so it just felt, like, appropriate mm-hmm. to his age to be kind of unpredictable, but also not really lean in one strong way or another. Mm-hmm. Um, so that felt right. He might change. I think he's probably moving more towards true neutral. Neutral neutral. But... Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably where, I would say that's probably where Ash is landing. That's what Ash feels like. Yeah, very much a true neutral. Uh, oh. So they said, uh, using the background sounds like battle bar to make the table sense. Uh, diming lights. I'm not sure if that's meant diming or dimming. Dimming, probably. Yeah, uh, many things you can do as an enhancement, so I was just seeing if they could elaborate on that. I think um, if I intend, if I'm reading your question correctly or your statement correctly, um, yeah, I, I, whenever I do my, I really ask my players to think about their background mm-hmm. a lot. Um, I think oh. a lot of people not background five e background, right? You're talking like character. I think backstory. Back, yeah, backstory. backstory. But also, I think back choosing a background is yeah. a very yeah. conscious decision and it's, yeah. i think it's the way that 5e i mean it's also mechanically important as well yeah so it's mechanically important mm-hmm. and it's also and i think a lot of people think about it as oh what kind of like backpack do i want what kind of like game set do i want um or what kind of skill sets do i want to be proficient in um but I think, like, the, you know, there's something to be said to choose, like, I'm going to choose the, my, my character to have a soldier background. Mm-hmm. And what does that mean for your backstory? Mm-hmm. Um, right. What does it mean to choose to be a charlatan, which my character mm-hmm. is? What does it mean to do X, Y, and Z? I mm-hmm. um, mean, I think that's the way 5e's kind of, like, mechanically replaced alignment, because alignment doesn't tell the story of your character, whereas I think the background system helps fill mm-hmm. that in. And you can optionally choose to like, go hard into that or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? So, one of the things, like, I think about this every week we play The Witcher on the Lunch Zone, where we're talking about the aesthetics versus, like, the how tiresome some of the shit is. So, for um, free alo, because uh, I'm not sure what you do yeah. and do not know about the channel, uh, so this is one of the shows on the channel. This is the only actual play um, of, like, tabletop RPGs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we also have a couple of other shows. I think there are only two actively running right now. Yeah. Um, the Lunch Zone, which happens every Wednesday from 12 mm-hmm. to 1, which is just like generally a new game every week, but they're currently playing through uh, Witcher, Witcher for the summer. Mm-hmm. Um, so Witcher 3 or like the first three. one? Witcher 3, yeah. The first one's <clears throat> And then, uh, the arena is on Tuesday, but not this Tuesday because Eric's in Florida. Right. And so the arena is usually a, uh, esport. Esports. Doing Dota, right? Uh, we do a new one every week. Uh, we did Dota two weeks ago, Overwatch last week. Oh, cool. Um, but, um, in the lunch zone, we were just talking about, like, the aesthetics, and, you know, there's just a lot of, you know, misogyny and, uh, what's it called? Uh, classism and stuff like that. Yeah. And, like, one of the things that I aspire in this campaign is to show that, yes, misogyny and classism and racism and all this awful stuff happens, but we're mm. telling the part of the story where it turns around, where we intervene, mm-hmm. where we have the, you know, redemption. Um, so, for example, like, over here, the redemption was, like, yes, it's the typical man gets rejected by a woman, man, uh, you know, kills women because of the rejection. Like, but we're not playing out that part. We're not playing out the part where he was found innocent when he was guilty. Mm-hmm. We play the part where he actually got the justice he deserves or will. Yeah. Have you guys gotten to the Baron storyline in The Witcher Three yet? We've only played like twelve hours of it, okay, so probably not. Yeah, um, I don't yeah. want to spoil anything, and you guys can leave that as a discussion. But the story that's around that is also. Should come to Lunch Zone sometime if you want. Sure, yeah. When you do the Baron storyline, um, mm-hmm. because actually it intersects with my hags, <laughs> mm. um, in some interesting ways. But The Witcher Three, as a lot of like male centric RPGs do, is they we talked about this a couple sessions ago about the male redemption arc, um, and how they are extremely prevalent in genre fiction. Mm-hmm. Um, and The Witcher Three, as much as I love that game. Um, it is very much a part of that, uh, very much a part of that trope. 
Mm -hmm. um, hell, I mean, just talking about the way that female characters are dressed, like, we can go up and down with the misogyny and the way that patriarchy is represented in that game. Um, but I actually want to address your point, Friello. Um, mm -hmm. Talking about having one, like, player that's kind of, like, outside what the, uh, outside what the yeah. rest of the players want. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously you're playing with kids, and that's a very difficult to kind of balance and work with. So yeah. props to you. I think it's very Seriously, great. Though. Working Seriously, with, though. Like, playing with kids is extremely important. Um, yeah. But, you know, in general, like, you know, sitting everyone, I'm like, okay, this is, like, what what game do we want to play? What do you want your characters to do? Because um, I think there's a sense that players want to, like, keep a secret from the party at times. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. I love, I... like, character secrets. Like, um, right now I'm playing one where my, my character is like, oh, I'm not weird like everyone else. I'm just a human who does science and not magic. But she mm -hmm. doesn't know that she's a half-elf. Mm -hmm. And someone in the party who's an half-elf Mm -hmm. found that out so like he knows something about my character that she doesn't know so i love those little secret mm -hmm. things in parties so free lo free lo uh D, &D is uh, mondays from two to five uh, central. central central yeah central yep. time um every uh, monday through for august. the most part yeah through august and then that's going to change to wednesdays yeah from we'll four to seven. okay yeah, yeah. We're not we sure will make yet, an actual but... announcement on that um and you should be able to follow us on twitter or facebook Mm -hmm. Um, Serious play. And you, you will always get updates on that. Uh, the Twitter definitely has all of our... Mm -hmm. um, we'll always be updated with our schedule, so you can mm -hmm. always definitely check there. Mm -hmm. And that is... Uh, you know, I'll just type it in chat. And I think most... A lot of podcast mm -hmm. stuff is up, so if you don't want to watch the videos, which I think are still on the channel, there yeah. are the podcasts. They're on as... I'll, uh, I'll pop the podcast in chat. I've got the first, like, ten sessions so far. I really yeah. need to uh, get the uh, rest of them up. Yeah. But uh, there's definitely enough backlog to keep you going. And they're just a straight audio rip, right? Straight audio rip. Yeah. And I have it in three parts. You know, half part one of gameplay, part two of gameplay, and then discussion. Yeah, we, we might be able to throw those up on YouTube at some point. I'm planning to, on it. I have it on my uh, drive. To-do list, yeah. I, I can help cool. with that, because that just takes time. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. With the new rig that I just got, it might actually be, like, really fast. So. Nice. Um, yeah. There we go. Um, but, yeah, sorry. C continue. Um, Kids... Yeah, so, like, you know, being able to, like, talk to your players about what their expectations are, and then if players want to hold a secret, that's what I was talking about. Mm, yeah. I think it's very good for the players to be in on it, but the player characters to not be. Mm. So, uh, so this, I think, really has always depended on me for, like, it depends on the group. Mm -hmm. Because some groups have, are very good about that's uh, true, not that's metagaming, true. and other groups are really bad about metagaming and so you'll have a player that like just cannot keep what they know out from what they do mm -hmm. and will act differently if they know information yep. and so when I DM I like to give information and then let players decide how much they're going to actually tell Yeah. Uh, depending on the thing right mm -hmm. um, so like if I ever do visions or whatever, generally mm -hmm. like I'll write them out and give them to players, and then mm -hmm. they can like decide if they're gonna share it or whatever. Yep, the same. Um, and in terms of like having an evil character, that's something you just gotta sit down and be like, hey, yeah, how do you want this to work in the world? Otherwise, it's just gonna be a dysfunctional group. Well, right, and yeah. I think that depends on how you conceive of evil too. Like yep. when are you conceiving of evil? Like alignment evil or are you considering evil like moral evil yeah um because mm -hmm. moral evil can work with a party alignment evil cannot yeah, yeah. um because i've played evil characters and mm -hmm. it's deeply fun yeah. <laughs> it, it, i mean i wouldn't want to do it all the time because yeah. it's very intense and it's actually one of the hardest things i've mm -hmm. done as a player First was three, saying we are playing the third on roll twenty. They just recently got that all of them are connected. Each caused each DM likes to hide. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah. there's so much. Um, like that fucking thing with your dad. Um, I was sitting on that for a while, <laughs> and it just sucks as the DM where like you're sitting on this juicy piece of information since like March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because we also move so slow, like. 
because we only have two and a half hour sessions. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes, like today, we get through a lot. Like we yeah. got through basically what was the whole town, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Like we'll wrap it up next time and we'll be on our way north. Mm-hmm. But like sometimes the entire session is one battle or yep. it is like one day of shopping or yeah. one massive conversation or <laughs> like you know. Eric's character uh like like there's a big thing up north that I have tied to literally the first session and mm. I've just been aching to like mm. have this resolved and that's January right you know? and that was January yeah but also like pacing is interesting but we've also done a lot Mm-hmm. With, like, the amount of time we've yep. been playing this right. specific campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we mm-hmm. started, what, down south. Like, we mm-hmm. we had the whole um, Edward arc. We have the whole Knock arc. We've gone yep. through a mountain. We have the underground city. We've dealt with the... Um, Free and Dragonborn. Free and Dragonborn. We did a lot of shit in the city. Mm-hmm. Um, we've also done a lot. lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's there was the whole arc about, like, fighting against your mom. Like, just, you know, the corporation oh, looking to, uh... Yeah, we still gotta get to... Your, your, your <laughs> yeah. Are you guys gonna force me to go see Anne's with? Because we can do that, but it's gonna be old. That's gonna be old. I have... I need yeah. to be prepared. Like, actually, oh. for real, though, player to player, is Franz gonna make them go to Anne's with? I mean, Franz is 15. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I need an answer, yes or no. I mean, Franz is gonna... I mean... To metagame... I think it would make sense for Franz to make a slight push to go to Answith, because if there's a chance of getting more mercenaries right. in the north... But there is, like, a good reason to go, but also, like, I as a player need to be prepared for that. Yeah. Because Ash, I need to be prepared for what will happen with Ash. Mm-hmm. I, 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 also, like, as a player, as mm-hmm. a player, not Franz, as a player... Right. I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, this is gonna be so. Oh man, he has not seen his mom for so many years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, not as long since he saw. And actually, sorry to like derail this a little yeah, bit. Yeah. No. But uh, there's this like the the part where you brought up like in game how your mom died in childbirth. Like, I don't think that was brought up like on the table mm, no, um, at all and that was like literally you know what you gave me mm-hmm. like you gave me like three things in your backstory <laughs> um, no. and that was one of the three did I ever write you a backstory I wrote you a backstory I, th- I forget I like got my backstory in chunks <laughs> yeah but like it, it ended up flushing out and sometimes you don't have the full thing yeah. right, right away yeah. Waiting for, I had oh. bullet points <laughs> let's see it's um, dad left mom there's... died yeah brother got captured now it's Paladin. He's yep. a thief. <laughs> That's Franz. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, Frilla a... says, uh, waiting four and a half years was killing me. They all felt so yeah. much the fool for not seeing... Oh. Yes! Yes. <laughs> it went, yes, though. Yes, like, those are that, beautiful. Oh, man, that is so hard as a DM to be like, oh, I'm just going to sit on this information forever. forever. Yeah. <laughs> Or yeah. I love it when, because here's the thing, like, there's this one part, like, that's related to your character, I'm not going to say how or why, and, like, I feel like it might blindside Franz a little, because, like, there are certain things where you do lay out the breadcrumbs, and there are certain things that, like, you could never guess it, mm-hmm. and but yet life happens. Mm. Um, like Jantry still being around. Like Jantry still being around. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. Totally different campaign. Okay. Yeah, different campaign. Um... But it's nice to see... Oh, ever had clothes? Uh, with, uh, I had... Um, I, I, I personally was a player. haven't experienced that. So I as a DM mm-hmm. have not, but I as a player had a party member. Mm-hmm. Um, the DM was going to have us like be like the local heroes of the town, but yeah. we had like we didn't get the chance because the drow cast fireball on like the fireball. assembly. <laughs> and... <laughs> murdered mm. everyone so instead of being the heroes by slaying like the baddie that they were going to tell us about we became the baddies and then we became pirates instead mm-hmm. so. so i mean we've had it not i wouldn't say went too far but we've had player conflict in this campaign where um yeah. we had someone... that's an evil like that wasn't any evil conversation but yeah. like, definitely player mm-hmm. player conflict yeah where i, I think it kind of goes to a point of being uncomfortable 
Mm. And going maybe going too far, we had one character who very much was trying to get revenge on a group of mercenaries that were hired to take over this town. And also murdered his mom. Also murdered his mom. Um, mm. And so he felt very strongly about just ripping through the mercenaries. Another mm. character did not have that personal connection and so mm-hmm. didn't want to um, mm-hmm. kill them unless, you know, absolutely necessary. Um, and so that was, you know, that was a point of tension of, mm-hmm. this is my shit, let me do it, but no, we need to think and get that, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so, like, I think that, you know, I think those are those can be really generative moments. Mm-hmm. Um, but if someone is going too far, say, past a personal boundary, mm-hmm. that's when, you know, you got to talk to players. Like, hey. Yeah. I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember one time, um, it was in a campaign, like, years and years ago, and there was a, a character that was trying to sexually assault an NPC, and the DM was like, well, you got to make a grapple check. And it just spiraled from there. Mm-hmm. Um, so they let the mechanics dictate the game, which it's their choice. I feel like it was a shitty choice, but in like mm-hmm. it's one of those like realism versus like what at what cost? Who are we affecting? Right. Is it a, like I'm not saying that sexual assault is a good story to tell, but sometimes it is a story that has to be told in a careful and certain way. Mm. I did not feel like it was told in that way. Right. I think that it's very rare, particularly in RPGs, that sexual assault needs to be played out in any mm-hmm. kind of way. And mm-hmm. like I think that yeah. it can be a part of a much larger story mm-hmm. and there is rarely a time to actually go mm-hmm. like actually role play that out. Yeah. Um but yeah, I have definitely had experiences where I have been like massively uncomfortable in a mm-hmm. campaign where it's just like, uh, this is, this is now getting to the point where the player is yeah. uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And um, I think there's other ways you can like show that someone is that kind of person. Like with mm-hmm. Lloyd, like all I had to say was, well, women are clumsy. Right. And just yeah. that, that doesn't have to say mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, I, I murdered my girlfriend, but you could just tell the kind of person that he was by mm. little things like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Halo, the uh, comment, I hate PvP and D&D, breaks up the flow of the game. This has, so that is vi- uh, like a totally common um, mm-hmm. opinion about stuff. Weirdly, I have had PvP in one of my games go very, very well. Mm-hmm. Most of the time it goes awfully Mm-hmm. And when it goes off, it goes real bad. Mm-hmm. But um, I did have one instance where the both players were extremely mature, um, and their players just like massively hated each other when they met. Uh, it just did was not working, and they did kind of like the bro thing that's like stereotypical, where they like got to a fight, and then <laughs> like we're best friends. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> um, I love it. Uh, tossed on the ground, and then like proved that both of them because it was actually like a wizard against a fighter and the wizard used no spells and was still able to grapple the fighter and oh it, like, my god just got the right dice ro- rolls and like it ended up like creating this like like this story of respect between them wonderful um so that was really it was really cool most of the time though it's yeah. awful because well, i think most of the time pvp i don't want to say most of the time the reason why I don't think people like PvP is because it's born out of player conflict. Right. And not player and not, character conflict. Right, yeah. Which mm-hmm. I think, yeah, like, that situation is great. I think there's growth that can happen mm-hmm. by having, you know, people don't always get along. Mm-hmm. Um, and when they don't, sometimes it leads to a fight. I mean, hell, we're in a game that has an entire combat mechanics. It's natural right. that things will lead to a fight occasionally. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, most of the time it is because of player attitudes and yeah. not because... Of actual character growth yeah. or uh, and, uh, character when you, reasons. When uh, Freela was talking about the seventeen or eighteen year old being like the dark character, like it's probably just you know a teenage person going through their edgy phase and just portraying mm-hmm. that in their character. Mm-hmm. And I think a good question to ask any group at any age is two questions: Why is your character an adventure? Mm-hmm. I think this is something Matt Colville Kilbel- talks about. Why is your character an adventure? And why are they traveling with this group? 
and I think both questions need to be answered affirmatively, mm-hmm. otherwise, unless there's a good story or character reason that would make up for it. Because mm-hmm. uh, if your character doesn't want to go on an adventure, it's going to be very difficult. If your par- character is not here to at least, on some level, get along with the people they're traveling with, to a certain degree, of course, it's going to lead to that player conflict, not that player character conflict. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Oh, um, shit, it's 4.57 it already. It is. Yeah. Um, Any last questions for us as we begin wrapping up? Yeah. Yeah. I um I was revisiting the, is it moral to kill a lich versus a zombie thing? <clears throat> oh, God, um, yeah. Kind of what is, how do you kill something that's already dead? So, uh, just to describe the lich, it's a almost universally evil form of undead spellcaster of great power, usually a wizard, but also possibly a sorcerer or cleric. Um, they're feared by mortal beings for their magic, their intelligence, and their willingness to embrace undeath for a chance to live forever. Oh, what do we so got? apparently the evil character is a lawful good paladin. What? In, in which okay. case, they're not playing their character. Yeah, right? in that case, they're not playing their character at all, and that's a completely different question. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, God. Wow. I hate Rough. those. I hate those. I hate those players. Yeah. Then I they're no longer strong, a lawful good paladin. I don't like playing with players like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, no, for sure, for yellow. That's you have been. Uh, it is a little bit rare that we get like really active chatters. Yeah, um, I love it, and it's awesome. So thank yeah. you so much for yeah, stopping by so and like engaging with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love it. So yeah, on the question of the lich, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, on the question of the lich, because oh, I, so like. One universal evil, true. I think the idea of playing with like a good lich is interesting, and I wish there were more. There actually is yes. essentially a good lich. Yeah. It's just like an elf. Yep. Ty- or a type of elf. But go ahead. Um, but what makes liches different than other undead is that they are sentient through but their so magic. Are, uh, uh, Reverence. Yeah, re- yeah reverence. reverence. Well, well, most of that being like skeleton zombies. Yeah. The things that like <coughs> witches or other necromancers would create. But the thing is, I think skeletons have like an end score of 10 still, which is the average intelligence. Like, that's an average intelligent human. So Really? That's, that's insane. That's strange. Let me just look it at might the be... stats. Because is it like... Well, stats is one okay, thing. Okay, their int is six, which is like a child. Okay. So... Well, no, because when you have fine familiar, or no, uh, fine steed, the animal becomes an, an intelligence of six, which allows them to understand and communicate basic commands. Mm. So, I put that at, like, six, seven-year-old, okay. as far as intelligence. I wonder how much of that, though, is just, like, in order to balance these mechanics, we, right. and how much of it is, like, they actually have an intelligence of six as compared to... So, like, in France, it's under skeletal for languages. It has, understands all languages it's spoken, like, but can't speak. So. Gotcha. But also, it really is Intelligence 6. So, we can also look at Zombie, which I think is just more powerful. Um, Same, understands a language, has an intelligence of actually three. So, but then I'm rebasing this on their intelligence. Right. I mean, for me, or at least the way that I do... Ted, I mean, like, if we're talking about murder, we're talking about life, and in order to have life, you have to have some level, whether it's one... Of self... Or above... Yeah. ...of intelligence. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I think there's, like, a degree... Or maybe I'm just, like, bringing in, like, other yeah. different ideas of it's undead and zombies... To mm. the world of D and D and the way that they construe zombies, right. yeah. Um, uh, how liches go insane after several centuries? So then, yeah. Like, what is it? The is demi lich? I don't know. The demi lich, but it gets gnarly. Yeah. I mean, they're already gnarly to begin with. I mean, um, look like up, look up demi lich. Which is I think they're a CR twenty, yeah. and they're fucking nasty. Yeah, they're we only nasty. we only I so I faced we faced a demi lich in a campaign that. We had been going, had been going for a really long time. So we were mm. like level sixteen yeah. or something, and there were like six of us, and that's the only way we took on a demi lich. Gotcha. Um, wow, it is five oh one. It is, yes. man. So okay, again, time. Philo. I know we've said this like a thousand yeah, times. We appreciate, um, but you. we appreciate you. Uh, we are gonna sign off. It's been lovely. Yeah. Join us yeah, in thank next you for week. Joining us, we really Peace. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. you'll meet Eric. 
Yes. He's back next? I thought he was gone for two weeks. He might be back next week. Okay. You'll we'll meet Eric out. eventually. Yeah. <laughs> there All we right. go. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.